Welcome back. Welcome back to um, the start of the second season. We're already there. It went, uh, the first season went by quickly. I mean, not as quick as I would have expected. I should have been done, you know, a month ago. But yeah, everybody that missed out and is joining now that the second season is here, you'll have we'll have a quick look at last season. Everything was going quite smoothly, but then November just, you know, hit us out of the blue. We lost the most games in November and December as well. So the winter period was uh, difficult for us, but we picked it back up after we sold the dead wood in January. And we had um, only half of the squad that was there before. But without the dead wood, we performed much better. We practically didn't lose a game. Like, let's see, we only lost three games, or no, a bit more, but if you count the Premier League, it's like three games in four months that we've lost. So that, that shows character, you know, that shows a lot. Let me put it on my story that we're live right now. Right. Now that I got that done. Yeah, the new season is here. Um the um, Premier League is gonna kick off in less than a month or just a month. And yeah, I don't know what to expect, man. Sheffield United got promoted again after they got I, I thought they got relegated last time around. Blackburn is in the Premier League, which is surprising. Um, yeah, not all the fixtures are there yet, of course. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. Of course, this time around it's the Europa League, but with the squad that, we, that we've built already, and I think we're already done with the first team. The only issue that I have right now is that I can't use Vanderford because he is not included in the camp squad. His loan ended too late. Same with Saul. They are both unavailable. Um. Well, the, the um, you know, the camp won't be forever. So, they'll be back. And when they'll be back, we'll be able to use them later on. If we look at the finances, we only got like um, 25 million left at max. Which is, uh, isn't that much, you know. But, we might be able to bring in a few, f a few faces, but... I'm not going to buy nobody for the first team no more. My first team and my second team are set. The only positions that I'm worried about is my youth. Like, I don't have that many youth players at all. So, we need to fill the youth setup up a little bit. And um, I have to wait and see how I'm going to do that, to be honest. Because $25 million is not a lot for to buy youngsters, you know. Of course, the, Ch the Chago Silva still has to leave. But if that's a free transfer, that is not... We're not going to get any funds from that transfer. Um, Yeah, am I satisfied with my lineup? Let's see. I already uh, put the tactic in. Um, everybody that's supposed to be playing is playing. Um, I might sub off Felix for Rafinha because he isn't match fit yet. And I do need him to be fit for the upcoming season. Given the fact that it was so important, you know. Um, yeah, I will loan Hudson Adoy back to whoever because he's still not there yet, you know, and he's still young, so he can develop. Uh, Steven Garcia, I want to use him Pause. Um, for this upcoming season. I just don't know when that will be, and we'll just have to wait and see. Let me put in some training for him as well because last time around we had his stamina that needed a boost now i want to work on this acceleration yeah we're we'll working on this acceleration so let's get back into the team selection oh no we're not gonna get in the match directly i want to see 
the midfielders. I might because last time around Bellingham didn't play well, so let me just go with a familiar face. Use um, what is his name again? Declan Wright. I mean Mason Mount. Um, we got Bellingham on the bench. Gilmore's gonna come on as well. Gilmore had a good game last time. He even scored. I might even. I'll let me get him off the no list. I want to give him a him a, a fair shot, you know. So he's gonna be unavailable for a loan. Um, and that should be it, actually. Like, yeah. Everybody else is gonna get soft on later. So let's get into this game. Yeah. Wait, Chilwell. Yeah, Chilwell needs to play. Chilwell job already starts again. God damn. Um, and Sule. Sule for Paul Torres. Is that everybody? No, it ain't. He isn't. He still isn't match fit, match fit. So I'm gonna give him another shot in the starting lineup. And I have to wait and see, man, cause. Last time around, I wasn't impressed, you know. So we're going to get into this friendly. But the last time around, he really disappointed me because it's been a while that one of my own players managed to get a 5.9 in a match rating. And that was against Bayern. I mean, I know Bayern is, isn't easy, but it wasn't the full squad. And not only that, he already played Bayern like countless of times in the Bundesliga with Dortmund. So... That wasn't a good sight, and I have to like give him maybe give him more game time and see how he gets on. But if this is gonna be like um, a problem in the Premier League as well, I'm, I mean, we might as well just loan him out for like six months, months, and just give him some experience in the Premier League with another club, and then see if he gets on in the gen in um, in January when he comes back. I'll just use him then for a short loan. We already scored. Like, I didn't even get to see who made the cross. Like, oh, that was Chilwell. Nice header by Haaland. It's 1-0. By the way, uh, if you're already there, Liberty, um, your striker, Luca Lorenzo, got loaned out to uh, RB Leipzig. So, he's going to try and get his uh, work permit over there. I'm hoping he gets it, man. And he gets the game time he needs as well. That was a good ball. Who we'll sent it? Whoa, that was Jude Bellingham. Okay, okay, okay. The link up with the two Dortmund players. Nice to see. Yeah, that was a good ball. That was a great ball. And the finish from Haaland, that is what um, Flavich needs to be doing, man. Great finish. Rice then, like. I don't know about Rice yet, man. He, he needs to get accustomed to the squad. I've, I've noticed. But it's also the first time that I'm playing with a DM, so I might have to watch and see if I'm using him in the right right way. Pedro Gonzalez also with an assist, and Adam is on his hat trick already. It's only six minutes. Yeah, but to be honest, this team isn't that great. If I'm brutally honest, this isn't the best team we could have faced. What is his primary position? I want to know. Oh, it's defensive midfielder. He's playing on there, so he should be doing okay. Nicely done, boys. Sula sent the ball through to Pedro, and Pedro just saw the pass. Nice. Now Rafinha's on it. By the way, if you guys... Uh, nah, nothing. If you guys hop over to my Instagram, I've posted some new content. You guys have to let me know what you guys think about the reels and the... Um, you know the small skits I made about the about last season, the games that I played. Bellingham scores! Wow! Assist by Declan Rice. Here I was, having not sure whether he's gonna be here for uh, the upcoming season, and here he, here he goes, an assist and a goal. Nice man. But um, either way, we might have to, uh, you know. We might have to discuss what we're going to do because we're one midfielder too many. We have one too many. 
Like, we got Gilmore, Benningham, Rice, Saul. So, you know, I definitely want to use Saul given the fact that he's proved himself worthy. But I don't know how long I'm going to use him. And I do know that Bellingham and Gilmore and Mount, they're for the future, you know. So we have to decide if it's going to be a youngster that's going to get loaned out or maybe, you know, Saul. But I'm not that keen on loaning Saul out because this might be his last season, you know. I might use use him as a make way to get back into the Champions League and um, lift the Premier League title because he... The work effort he's put in, he deserves to be at the, um, to, you know, succeed with this team. Now, of course, that might mean that I'll have to sell him before we get into the Champions League next season. Whoa, what a back heel. Did you see that? <laughs> Pedro Savala. <laughs> but, yeah, I want to use him domestically for, you know, the cup competitions, uh, the Premier League. Europa League and I want him, him to leave this team as a club legend because I've seen the work he's put in you know I don't want him to be like a one hit wonder and I, I'm, I'm hoping he's not a one hit wonder because if he just performs the way he did before it shouldn't be an issue and even though he got an assist I do have to wait and see how Declan gets on in the season because he was supposed to be my main man at you know the end because we've conceded a lot of goals last season and gave away leads that we shouldn't have had if we would have had a defensive midfielder so that's exactly what I'm going to use him for so I'm hoping he gets on well but we'll just have to wait and see because right now we're not facing strong oppositions and the time we did the team wasn't there yet with the um, sharpness and familiarity so Stony on it. Nice. He's our new skipper for this season. You know, uh, Thiago Silva's leaving and he was already the, only the vice captain. So, it was easy to make him captain. I've, I even sent him on a leadership course last season. And he's proved himself worthy of being a captain. So, I wouldn't see why I shouldn't be uh, our captain for this season. Yeah, Pedro's pace is uh, some, it's an issue. That's definitely an issue. We're already up 5-0. It's like, um, I'm just gonna, you know, let everybody get their match fitness in. And then maybe in the f um, 20 minutes from now, we're gonna get some subs in. Might play with a whole new, you know, starting... 11 and uh, new formation possibly because I only got one DM remember I, I tell you guys like my whole squad would have looked different if it wasn't for us not qualifying for the Champions League but to be honest looking back wow how Rafinha this guy never feels to amaze me sometimes but you know um, I think it it was for the better it was the best thing that could have happened to us like a blessing in disguise because right now we were able to build like a full squad that is capable of you know trying to win at all fronts and we looked at the second uh, we had a whole second opinion on the squad because we couldn't not only we couldn't we afford all the people that we wanted to buy but they weren't interested so this is a side that's willing, that's hungry and wants to fight for success, not players that already been at the top and don't want to fight for it no more, you know? And that's nice because that could get us a whole lot further than, you know, having players that don't even want to be there. I might have to wait and see how Pedro gets on, man, because I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm already peeping something, and I'm, I'm not sure how to feel about it. Okay, now he's actually putting in the... He is, he is putting in the work, but he's just not a quick winger. He's not... He's good, but he's not quick. Not at all. 
I we ha also have to check what we're gonna use as a set piece specialist because I don't know if we actually got one at the moment. Unlucky. Alright, I think it's time for some subs. Wait, let me just let this highlight play itself out. Might get a go out of it or something. No, we won't. We won't. Okay, if uh, the highlights end, I'll uh, make some substitutions. Hmm. All right, let me make some subs. It seems like um, Billy Kvitsavich had a quiet game. Okay, Billy Gilmore is gonna come on. Bellingham is gonna get subbed for Mason. It's gonna be a box of. I don't know why he's to want to turn into a ball winning midfielder. I have no idea. Either way, Havertz. And I can't even play um, Belly Bellingham in defensive midfield because he already told me he doesn't want to. Okay, this guy's gonna be. Oh, he can also be a shadow striker. I'll, I'll use him as a shadow striker. Um. Himself has had a good game, no, not, not, nothing wrong, but he'll get soft though. And Sufati, I prefer as Sufati on the left, so I'm subbing well on the left side Invert, as an inverted winger. Uh, right side, we'll just have Shaw Felix for now because he's capable of playing on the right. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah, I'm Sufati also is, but. He's, he doesn't have five star weak foot. He does. <laughs> I'm saying five star weak foot like his keeper. Okay. Ailing Allen already had his hat trick, so he doesn't need to play anymore. Um, Garcia actually should have played. My bad. He'll get on later. Suit is gonna come off, and Hakimi also. It's time for um, Petro Pro to shine again. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, Garcia. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Surprise me. Show me what you can do. That was a lousy cross. I can't go. <laughs> that was a oh, that's a good pass by Rice. Unlucky. Now they're gonna get sucked off. And it's fucked up because my second center back is Empadu and I can't even use him right now. Hakimi on it. Woo! Good goal. That's a great goal. And it's been a long time since a fullback actually hit it like that. So I'm, I'm really happy with that goal. 6 0 now. He laid it off and he just, he just booted it in the top corner. And he did it so effortlessly, you know? Flavis on it, mount. Mount on it then. Garcia. Come on, Garcia. I tell you what, if he oh, he nearly had a, he nearly started up a goal. But if he plays well now, he, I might be able to get him a good loan move with a team that's gonna play him a lot. That you ask me, I think a championship side would benefit him better than a Premier League side. I don't think he's gonna get a lot of minutes in the Premier League side, and then it would, if he, if a Premier League side wouldn't play him a lot, it would be better for him to stay with me. But a championship side, I'm sure he's gonna be an important player, and he's gonna get the, um, 
game time he needs to develop in you know potentially a world beater he might be a crucial player next season when we um get back into the champions league i'm tell i'm telling you the year that we get back into the champions league is the year that we're gonna win it especially with the team that we're trying to build right now full of hungry young talent he should have he should have take, taken the touch he should have done that Oh, that's a good cross. Ansu Fadi with a goal. Nice. Good, great cross by Pedro Pro. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely need to look at my set piece takers because Pe Pedro Pro is not a free kick taker. I don't give a damn how good his shot is. He's not a free take. Oh, Everett's nearly scored a banger. Good save by the goalie. Even though he can see it's seven. Enzo's on it, though. Yeah, the sloppiness needs to get... Uh, Enzo needs to get rid of that. But apart from that, he's a wonderful player. Like, wait a minute, who did I actually play on the left-hand side before I sub topped them off? I want to know. Because that might mean that I have... Hold on, who the hell did they play on the left side? Oh, Rafinha, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really fucking up right now with, um, you know, the wingers. Because everybody's playing on a different side that they're supposed to be playing in. Like, Rafinha is actually my right-hand man, and, um, you know, Gonzalez. And on the left-hand side, it's either Fadi or Shraw uh, Felix. But I am, I'm having too many wingers right now, so I do need to make some loan deals to make sure that that's sorted out. And with the loan deals, you know, as long as I place, I put in them that I can recall them, there's nothing to be worried about. Because if I, let's say I would need them because of an injury crisis, I could just get them back, you know. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too that worried about it. I'd rather have more players than not enough, because that's what the, the problem that I was dealing with last time around, and we really had to pay for that because we lost games we didn't even have to lose, you know. Now Vlaovic, I'm swear to God, I'm gonna talk to him after this game because I'm not happy with his his performances, and if he if he doesn't put in the work, I can get like. A good player to fill his spot in like you know i could maybe put in a swap deal for um lautaro martinez i mean why wouldn't i if he's playing like this wouldn't be that good of a deal to be dead honest because of the fact that lautaro martinez is not a, a substitute you know so i think it would be more realistic for me to buy a striker like tammy abraham you know to get him back Because he could have, he could be used as a super sub. But Flower Feast right now is he's not doing it. So I'm gonna uh, tell him to do better and give him one more, one more chance. And if he doesn't, you know, live up to his promise, then it's just over. Because he's finished right now. He's missed so many opportunities. Like it's like I'm playing with Havertz in striker. I mean, uh, no, not Havertz, Werner. I bash Havertz for no reason. You see this? This is pathetic football for me. Let me already give him a, you know, a taste of what what is what is waiting on him if he keeps playing like this. Flavich, come on. <laughs> you know what? That conversation is happening. I don't understand what happened. Like, he had the greatest form since Lukaku, and then it just disappeared out of nowhere. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to talk to him. Definitely. He could have scored five goals already. Give 
Omar on it. Flaovic. Okay, that was a good ball. Havertz. Uh, I don't think nobody want to score no more. Finally, he scores. I don't sure with the assist, but you know what? That's a tap in. Everybody could have scored. If he would have missed that, oh, he would have. He would have been in trouble. He would have been in a lot of trouble. Good performance, though, by the squad overall. Dortmund is now trying to sign Dominguez. Like, they're trying to replace Bellingham with him. He used to be good, though, but he's not that good no more. Oh, already a trial day. Nice. Um, well, these players aren't that good, though, if I'm, if I'm correct. Yeah, they're not that great. But I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. Who knows? You might find a gem out of there. But Liverpool won again. Liverpool's winning everything right now. No, not even one recommendation, Jesus. Oh, they're starting to try to sign Khadetsky. It was a great goal in FIFA. Delaying the decision, man. Gimmick the guy that I wanted to sign wins the play of the year or the seat or the tournament.
Bakayoko is still out on loan? Why didn't he get back? What the fuck? Or maybe he is coming back, but uh, it's taking too long. But yeah, he can go on a trial. Fuck it. Um, okay, he no longer has a weakness. He suits his bravery, okay. Um, Marty Fonderford needs to start developing his weak foot. Fine. So he's already working on it. Wow. I'm excited to see uh, how he gets on, man. I don't give a fuck about that. Um, let's see. Okakame, Okamikano. Would he be a good signer? I mean, if, if that's a stupid question. Of course, he could, he would be a good signing, but I don't think we need a signing like that because we got the center backs in check, you know. So unless somebody isn't performing like they're used, they're supposed to, might be the next center back to come in in the league this season. He's gonna play alongside Suda. Let's see, what do we have? Inbox. West Ham makes some meals go over. Yeah, leave. Thank you. Look to use youth setup. Good facilities. Yeah, of course. Um, Nathan Baxter. Yeah, I'm not going to offer. I mean, I'm not going to offer these guys. No. Are you kidding me? Let me talk to him about the injury. I don't want to worry about it. When you're back from injury, you're still very much in my plans. He's definitely gonna be in my plans, dog. Like, hell, he's the only backup right back I got. Yo, what is this? <laughs> Why was I this hyped up? I thought that there was a whole new section of the game. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the only thing that's happening is just a trial game. Like, fuck it. The trial game is running. And um, after this, I'm going to get some food while this game is running. So I'll be right back. Let me just... We're not going to watch the whole game, of course. Where can I change the... Yeah, it's on extended highlights still. Good.
I'm back. Thank you for waiting. I'm sorry it took so long, man. I didn't even see anything of the game, if I'm dead honest. But I'm guessing something good happened for me. I mean, come on. You're telling me I wasted my time looking at that. Glacier spot of that. Gallagher Stadium. You see, I, I knew Gallagher, uh, the name was familiar to me. I knew about it. Where's the scout report, though? That's what I'm waiting on. Because usually you get a scout report after you've witnessed that game with who was uh, the best player out there and everything. So, unless that's coming to me, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. Nothing? Wow. That is disappointing. Oh, he got a different offer. You can go. You're telling me this guy can become better than Ansu Fadi. Mm. Let me see. Ansu Fadi does not play. Yeah, you see? Ansu Fadi did not come to play at all. Nah, they're they're pretty much the same player. Only difference with is that um Hudson Odoi got the um, you know the registration rule ruling in front of him. That's the only difference. Mafika wants them for a transfer. No, they can't have him for a transfer for a loan deal, maybe. Here we are. Man, it's annoying that it's still unavailable. Guess I can't do shit about it, huh? Mmm. I turn the door, he's gonna play. Fuck it. I wanna see if this man can convince me to keep him. If he can, I won't I won't sell him. I mean I won't loan him out. But it really depends on what he's doing. You know? It's up to him. I'll give him a shot. And he needs to show me that I didn't make a mistake. He's a deep line playmaker. I didn't know that. I want him actually to be like um, um an advanced midfielder or advanced roaming playmaker. All right. Anything else? Yeah, I'm giving Rice as much game time as I can because he really needs to show me why I paid that the big bucks for him. Because if he doesn't work out, my whole philosophy for the new season is out the window. We're just going to go back to square one. And it's not that I'm not capable of doing that, but I just hope that I can do something different this year, you know? Keep it more entertaining for you guys because if I keep playing the same formation, you guys are going to figure the episode out already you know and the results and everything i want this series to be you know i want it to be like every time you see me coming online to be like oh he's uploading a new episode and this you're gonna tune in you know and i, I think i've exceeded that threshold threshold um last year last season it was nothing was certain last, last season, man. Nothing. Okay, Harris is gonna come on. Shaw Felix is gonna come on. Um, the 
Garcia. Guy, yeah, Garcia is going to come on as well. Pedro Casalva still isn't fit. I don't know how he's doing. But he might also come on. But maybe in midfield this time. Another mukbang episode where you're <laughs> tortured with me eating and drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep me on it. Oh, nothing. Enzo with a goal. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm playing. I'm guessing Chilwell. Yeah, it's Chilwell. A header! Very unexpected. The guy is 5 foot 9 or something. I'll tell you what. This game is the first one. Where I've witnessed so many headers or attempted headers, man. I'm telling you. Another goal by Ansu Fadi. It wouldn't have been a goal if it wasn't for Flaovic heading it. But he should have scored from, from over there, man. I'm, I'm sorry. He really should have scored from over there. Hmm. I, uh, I actually forgot to criticize him. Profits, wake the fuck up. So go, finish it. Finally, as he's offside, he's offside. Now he loses the. Hey, I'm telling you, this might be the final minutes for Flaovic if he continues to move like this. And then he scores. Now he want to score. 
Let me guess. Another tap in. Yep. Like, all due respect, I could get Havertz to do that. I could get a lot of wingers to do the same shit he just did. He is not that type of striker, though. He's not a, um, what is it called? He's not a target man. Target man. He got the speed. He got the dribbling. He's supposed to score those goals. He's not doing it. Like, all the goals he's scored so far have been created up until the point that it, that he's uh, in front of the goal. Only thing he had to do was get his foot across. So I'm not impressed, man. I'm far from impressed. Same with Hudson. Or the, I don't know what the fuck that man is doing right now. See? The headers? None. None existing with him. He's missed so many headers. And it's, the fucked up thing about it is I want him to do, uh, you know, to succeed. That's why I paid the big bucks for him. But if he can't even show it right here in a friendly against God knows what, what team this is. I don't know when he's going to do it. That's why I'm happy I bought in Helen because Helen can definitely, uh, you know, fire this team in, into success. But I'm not betting, no, nothing on uh, Flower Beach right now. <laughs> Gilmore with a good pass. Yeah, I don't really, I really don't want to loan out Gilmore anymore, dog. Because he's he's showing up, and I know his rating doesn't say it right now, but still, he's working. Mountain on it, Fadi. Come on, chill well. Hakimi. Go for it. Hudson, come on. Hudson or should have done better there. I still didn't... You know, I'm going to write it down this time. The things that I need to do after this game. Because I'm slacking. Um, I need set piece. Takers. And... Berate. Flavich. All right, now that I got that noted, I won't forget it. Because I'm just out, out here playing games like it's charity. Nah, we need to do better. Because there's, this is not good enough. Last game, we were performing well. We were up 7-0 or 5-0 like in the first half. But this game, only 3-0. Paul Torres scores though. Nice. <laughs> Pass it back. You, you could have passed it back. And Flavich could have attempted the header, but no. He gets the assist, though. I'll credit him for that. But that's just great finishing by uh, Anson. Yeah, I'm not feeling Flavich right now. Man. I don't know why he's not, you know, on this A game. Yeah, Gonzalez is going to come on as a midfielder today. I do not know what to expect from this dude. I do not know. Let me see. What is his uh, preferred position? Shadow striker. Oh, yeah. I forgot. He's supposed to be a cam. He's not even a midfielder. It's fucked up.
You know what? Fuck it. This time I'll have him as a cam. I have him as a shadow striker. He better show up then. And Mount, uh, you know, I'm gonna have two midfielders over here. I'm gonna have Jude Bellingham and Kovacic. I mean, Milinkovic Savic. Kovacic isn't even here though. What is your preferred position? Oh, box to box. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And Bellingham is central midfielder, right? Let's see. No, ball winning midfielder. Still. All right. We got a box to box and a ball winning midfielder. We got Gonzalez and Cam. To be honest, it might be, I might be okay with that because then, no, no, I'm actually not okay with that. But the problem with that is that how the hell are we gonna make formations when we got two camps and one DM? That wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't make no sense. Well, Flower Fatty has done enough this game, so Felix is coming on. Um, he'll be an inside forward. And Garcia's gonna come on another time. Sorry. Um, Holland is not coming. Oh, Holland should come on because he's not match fit yet, not fully. Um, you're just gonna be in um, either an advanced forward or you should be a complete forward. Yeah, complete forward. Oh no, poacher! You're a poacher actually. Yeah. Um, Gaia and Sule for Stony. Yeah, Stony's dead tired. All right, man, we, sh we should be good now. We should be. Let's see how they get on. Donnarumma can't complain nothing about this man's sharpness, dog. Like, he's playing every game. Brandon Ford is definitely going to get some games, too. Don't get this shit fucked up now. And I want to... Um, one thing I'll definitely do is I'll play some more competitive games. Like, I don't want no friendlies against teams that I'm never going to face, first of all. And second of all, aren't challenging to play against. I want to play Bayern Munich again. I want to play Barca. I want to play Inter. I want to play teams that are going to put me in hot water so I can see what I need to fix with this squad. Because how big are the chances that this team is going to score three goals right now? You see? Their opportunities aren't really there, but... If I want to go for everything this season and the next season also, we need some more competitiveness from them. Allen's with it. He dropped it off. Oh, lucky. Hey, Liberty, what's up? We're already um, a bit up and running. With, we're still on the um, international camp in USA with the friendlies. And um, after this, I'm going to put in some new friendlies so we can get um you know what, 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 what was i about to say so that we can play against more competitive teams because right now we're dominating but that doesn't say shit about the premier league you know premier league is a whole different different stuff same with um europa league same with the cups so i want to see what's really going on i have a key with the assist and of scores again You, where you missed out on was that Flaufich did score and he did get an assist, but both of those were, he, his teammates really helped him out. They made him look good. And I'm, I'm not being fooled by nobody because he missed so many opportunities by himself that I'm, I'm going to have a conversation with him after this game, but I don't know what to do with him, if I'm that honest. Because he's no way in hell even gonna be fit for a backup strike if he's not even contributing nothing, you know? So I'll just have to wait and see. And in other news, Rice has been mad quiet, but that's maybe because he didn't have that much to do. And I'm not sure whether to put Pedro Gonzalez as a shadow striker or as a right winger because he's not quick enough for a, a, a winger at all and he, he just scored he just scored so i don't know man i'm a bit confused at this point all, only thing i know for certain is that we got way too many midfielders we do have too many wingers as well but the winger problems can be solved much easier than the um midfielder problem 
apart from that, yeah, the strikers. I do have I might Oh, he scores again. Jesus. Okay, he might be a shadow striker. <laughs> but uh what I was about to say is that um I'm not sure about what to do with um Flowers. Wingers, they're they're good. The center backs, no problems. The fullbacks, no problem. But the midfield and the striker, the backup striker, I don't know, man. We just have to sort this out and play more games and see who's um, supposed to be where and who's performing better. But that's just going to take time. It's a process, man. Just have to wait and see. Because this year around, I don't take, uh, you know, mediocrity for an answer. We're feeding with a goal now. It's 9-0. Jesus, I didn't know it was going that fast. Like, swapping the team around really worked out because it was 7-0 for a whole half. And now, all of a sudden, they're coming back to life. Hungry as shit. But this is not good for, um, you know, the team morale because winning with these figures, they're going to get complacent. And I don't need complacency when we're going to get washed against Bayern or PSG or, you know, who else. Oh, uh, God knows who. Rafinha. Oh. Now I really want to score the 10th goal. I mean, come on. Rafinha. Uh, of course he does it. Of course he does it. <sighs> Gaia's on it. Pedro on it. On the right side, Hakimi, come on. Bellingham. Nah, he, they, they won't get it. They won't get it. They're not going to score the 10th goal. They, because they know I won the 10th goal, they're not going to score it. That's the whole reason. Watch. Hit the crossbar. Oh, they do. They actually do. I didn't think it would happen. My first 10 0 scoreline. Shaw Felix with another assist. Helen with another goal. I thought, oh, I mistakenly thought that I subbed him off, but that was Flavich. Because Helen didn't even start this game. He was on the bench. Yo, what the fuck? Funny thing about all of this is that um, I haven't even used my headset yet because I ran the battery dry last time around playing like n nine hours. <laughs> So it's still charging because I forgot to put it in the charger yesterday. So um, you guys can hear the music, but I can't hear it. Battery is still low. Wow. Like nearly everybody scored or had a goal involvement. Ashraf Hakimi really put in the work, man. He really did. How many assists did he get? Let me see. Um, Passing, tackling, shooting. Who had three goals? And Sufadi had three goals. I didn't know that. Um, Joel had two assists. Jude Bellingham had two goals. Uh, Holland had a goal and an assist. Havers had two assists. Pedro Gonzalez had two goals. But how many is Ashraf Fikimi only had one assist. Then it was his other stats that really put him out of the bunch. Because, yeah, he only had one assist. So that really shows how much work that man put in today. But I'm proud of this team. And of course, some people are... I don't get why Chago Silva is complacent because he's, he's not even going to be here the next season. I mean, come on. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Bazing, Bazinga, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Welcome to the stream, man. I just noticed that. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying it. You're, um, if you want to get, get, get caught up a bit about this series or, you know, the games. Uh, I started to post some content on my Instagram about the games that I've played. Certain games, the most exciting ones. Yeah, last year we ended uh, sixth place. We could have ended fifth. But, um, yeah, we lost the last game. That really decided whether we are going to end fifth or sixth place. But that's beside the point. We still got European football. And we built a whole new squad around the team that was left. And, um, yeah, man. With that being said, we're going to try and win everything we already. <laughs> While saying that, I do realize that we lost the FIFA Club World Cup. But, come on, like. I wasn't able to use 25% of the squad, and those were important players. So we got knocked out against Bayern, but I still got hope for all the other three competitions. There were competitions where I can use everybody that I've bought. So I'm not that worried about it, to be honest. We're just going to give it all we got, you know? And hoping shit changes. Let's see. Um, this score game is really good. I'm pleased that this experience helped further its development. Yeah, I know. That's great. Um, you should play close to this kind of thing. Um, okay. I'm delighted with your full back in the squad and I plan to think yourself yourself as a job as a very long haul. Yeah, of course. Okay, it's time to... Let's get Frankie the Young. <laughs> Liberty. <laughs> Look. I've tried, but um, he didn't want to join because we don't have Champions League football. He wants, he purely wants to play Champions League football. So there's n no way I can get him. And not only that, we have a midfield problem. You know, we got Mount, Gilmore, Rice, Bellingham, Milinkovic, Savic, and Saul. We got too many midfielders, and I'm having second thoughts about playing. Um, Pedro Gonzalez on the wing because he's not fast at all. So I have to see if I can still make him a bit quicker than he is right now. But he's 24, so I'm not I'm not holding my breath on that one. I will train him to play more to get natural on the right side. And hoping I'm hoping that that shit works. But once again, I'm not holding my breath on it. Let's see if I can get him to come a bit quicker. If that shit works, wow. I'm gonna be surprised. Anyway, um, one thing that I do want to focus on this year is getting in some youngsters because we don't have them at the point at this point, not at all. And that's not how it's supposed to go, if you ask me. Like, I want this um new facilities to be worked on. Of course, we got like two players that are still yet to come in. Like, we got Van de Voort. The goalkeeper we already signed in the first season was still not available because he didn't come back in time. So we have to uh, wait until we get back from the youth camp. I mean, the uh, preseason camp. I don't know when this preseason camp is going to stop, though, if I'm that honest with you guys. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to berate um, this man. Where is he at? Flauvich. Oh, I'm so pissed at this dude. He's he. I don't know what's up with him. And the fucked up thing is, I'm gonna criticize him, and he's probably gonna fight me over it because he wasn't. Um, you know what I was about to say. He did score and have an assist, but I don't give a fuck. I don't disappoint you have to fed up as well. I don't agree with you at all. Yeah, you see. I feel your standards are low. I think you've got a lot more you need to improve to reach some higher level. I don't think my any my I did I didn't tell shit about his age. You have to rethink your playing time then. I'm going to consider your future at the club not. Uh, you guess you're not the big offense, that's a shame. Yeah, I'm I'm done with this conversation because he's not listening. But 
if I'm dead honest, I do want to look at a new striker. So, we're just going to take a look, regardless of what he's saying, because that conversation wasn't leading nowhere. And it's unfortunate, but it's, it's the truth. Okay, this guy is just, he's okay, he's good, but he's, he's small. How did he get homegrown status? He's Belgian. Wait, where did he play? He only played at Ostende. I don't understand how this man got homegrown status over there, but fuck it. Let me fully scout him. And let's see if we can buy some youngsters. First of all, I want to look at a striker, baby. But I don't know who, if I'm dead honest. Like, this guy, I don't think he's better than Flavius. Let me see. Check Olisa from Crystal Palace. Alright, I'll check him out. Nah, he's, he's the same type of per player as Flaovic. Just a be better star rating. No, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, same story. I wouldn't buy him. Um, this guy, though, he might be the one to replace me, um, Flaovic. Like Lautaro Martinez might be the guy, and the other strikers, they're just disappointing. Yeah, yeah, they're just disappointing. So I'm gonna check out the guy you told me about, Olisa. Um, who's this guy? Oh, he's 22. No, he's not good enough. Um, I'm hoping. Oh wait, he's in the Premier League, so he should be able to join me without any issues. Or least, uh, yeah, Mike, Mike, Michael Olisa. Oh, he is a okay. Is he a right right winger? Nah. I mean, he's good, but. I think I'm looking at the same player like I'm looking at with um, Gonzalez. Like, he's not quick enough for the wings. But I'll scout him and I'll see if um, his scouting report can change my mind about him. Um, the striker part, though, we're going to look and try and get, um, what is his name again? Lautaro. Yeah, we're gonna try and get a low tower on the team if we can. Mm, of course, not with this type of offer, with a player, player exchange. If that works, at least. He's not transfer listed yet. Where is he? Flavic. Yeah, I loaned out um, Luca Lorenzo to um, what club? Uh, RB Leipzig. Like, look, if I go to the development center and loans, you can see he's out at RB Leipzig. And for some reason, I don't see the capability of recalling him from loan, but it might be because he is he doesn't have a work permit. But he's now on loan at RB Leipzig. So I'm hoping he gets the game time that he needs comes back a better player and if I'm dead honest now that I'm uh, another striker might be too hard to uh, go after I might as well focus on training this dude because he's not that bad either you know he does need to work a bit on his work rate and his strength is good I mean it's alright his dribbling though I think his technicals need to be better before he can dominate in the Premier League because with the first touch of 12 and finishing of 12 you're not gonna get that far so I'm gonna train him I want him to hold the ball before I want him to work on his finishing so let's see um where's dribbling ball control yeah I'm gonna focus on this technique and everything put by that clause <laughs> why should I sell him <laughs> 
I might sell him in January, but I'm not selling him right now because he just came back from a loan. And I wish I could have used him before because his potential is looking a lot better than he can grow when he's playing much. Yeah, that's right. Um, I might put him on a loan list then. Mishibashi Wai is definitely getting sold though. I don't know why he's still here. He's listed, but it's taking a long ass time. Wait, can I use Saul? Oh, I can already use Saul, finally. That took long enough. And I can use Fendevort. Okay. Um, Fendevort is definitely going to start playing now. Donnarumma is going to be here at this position. Chavo Silva is going to be out anyway. Empadu, finally, guys. You have no idea how long I waited on this shit. Um, I might, it might be time to make two selections, you know, like a first team selection and a second team. So I have to look and see who's going to be in the first team and who's going to be in the second team. But right now, I think this, yeah, I think this is coming together as the second team let me see um yeah gilmore is definitely going to be in the second team um jude might be yeah 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 he has to um and i'm not gonna use rice there over there so huh. this is a difficult one i've never used maze amount as a cam to be that honest yeah you see he's not in cam am i uh but um Havertz might be or wait I'm not gonna use Havertz as a backup though I don't know I might fuck it Havertz is gonna be in my second team cause I'm gonna use the second team a lot so it doesn't matter um Fadi is my first team uh left mid so Felix is gonna be in the second one on the right side, I'm going to use Rafinha. And then Pedro Gonçalves is going to be on the bench. Hudson Odoi is not going to be there. He's going to get loaned out. So, who was my first team right winger, though? That's what I'm trying to find, figure out. No, that was Rafinha is going to be the first team right winger. So, Pedro Gonçalves is going to be here. Even though he's not really there yet with everything. And... Vlaovic is going to be the striker. So, this should be the team. This should be the second team. Yeah. And everybody's on the bench right now. Chilling. Should be there. And um, I'm going to use only one center back on the bench. I'm going to use Pistoni because he's the best option out of the both of them. Okay, let me just put Torres because I'm going to overuse Pistoni if I'm do that. Um... So, oh yeah, so I forgot about him. So is gonna be on the bench to come on with Mason Mount, I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely why he's not gonna play in second team games, but so will Mason Mount will, and maybe some other guys. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna save it. Let's see, where can I save it again? Manage and then save. Or maybe manage selections. Second team. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna do it like this. Youth team. Because there are only youngsters in this squad. Only a, a few experienced players, but I'll try Mbappe again. <laughs> I'll try it after I've finished this. Um right now that we got this done we can now focus on the first team putting that in place oh i keep putting him on sweeper keep i need to stop doing that he's not a sweeper um paul torres where's this other guy stony Stopper, this man's gonna be a defender. Chuo, Sanhe, Kimi is on it. Yeah, um, midfield is gonna consist of 
Milinkovic Savic, Declan Rice. He's gonna play this year, defensive midfielder. And um god damn it, this is difficult. I'm guessing Mason Mount, but if I'm that honest, I'd rather prefer Saul and then Mason Mount as a sub. Cause me and Saul go back, man. Like he's done so much, so I, I trust him to be Could he be a box to box? Let me see. Yeah, he can play a box to box. I will do that. Um, striker Hurling Holland, right winger Rafinha, and left wing Ansu Fadi. Yeah, man, and I think that that's that. So, wait a second. Yeah, I already used Sula as a backup, so that's good. Um, right now. Do I need to play somebody else? Yeah, and Ethan Enfredo is not going to be on the bench for these games. Sula will. Ah, oh, Sonegoy, Kasvagan. Maybe Enfredo should because he needs the game time. So I'm going to place him on the bench over there. And that should be it. Yeah. I'm going to put everything in place. So let me give me a second. Yeah, okay, let me save this up as well. First team. And now I need to delete the other ones and then we can look if we can if I can try and if I can sign Mbappe again. So let me go to manage, manage selections, delete first team. Delete second team, and now we got youth team and first team. Yeah, this team is way more experienced, so this doesn't count as a fuck's sake. I forgot about um, Jose Gaia. I forgot about him. Can I still save it up? Let me see. I, I should be able to save it up still. Save team selection. No, manage selection. First team. Okay. So, um. If I go now and I pick youth team, it's chill well. And if I go and I pick first team, <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, dog. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, I need to remember to place Jose Guy in the right spot because if I don't do that, I'm gonna be in trouble with game time and all kinds of other bullshit. But now that we got this done, let us just focus on what matters and try and sign Mbappe again because he's a free agent right now. Um, the tactics is laid out good, so I'm gonna go and, you know, look at Mbappe. I can't believe he's a free agent. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I still have to wait. We, maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll be able to get it. To still get him. We skip a day again and now let's see what we have in the inbox. Staff advice summary. Um somebody else should be focused on this, not me. Let me see how many friendlies we got. We got um Sevilla, Salta de Vigo, and FC Utrecht. I'll tell you what though. Um, okay, I can rest the players on this day, just one day, so this is going to be a rest day, and after that it's going to be a friendly, and I'm going to look and see what team we're playing. I want similar reputation. I can only space play small teams, why the fuck is that? Okay, maybe another day, let's see, this day. Yeah, now I can play similar for um, reputation. We're gonna play. Yeah, we're gonna play Paris Saint Germain. We need it. We need it. Um, I want another one. I want another fixture. 
so i don't know what day we put in the request for i think it was this day yeah it was this day um i'm not gonna play against in between those days sevilla celta de vigo we're gonna play a friendly over here and this should be another similar team i can how about here similar finally um what team these ain't no similar teams man like maybe over here similar Gladbach, Marseille, Monaco, Olympiacos, Rennes, Schalke okay it's the same story so I might as well just put them over here and we will play I think Bayer Leverkusen is the best out of all these teams I think they are so we're gonna play Bayer Leverkusen and I'm hoping that that should be enough for this team to warm up and be able to play against Fulham in the Premier League. Because don't get this shit fucked up. We've lost against Fulham last year. So we need to make up after we, um, with mistakes we've made yes, last year. I, let's not forget, I sold Kante to PSG. And he was the one to score the goal that decided that we're not that we were gonna get knocked out. How typical. Man, this simulation is taking long as hell. Now, how many things need to be done in 9 July? I was about to say. And then no news in my inbox still. Great. You guys. It's the start of the season. It's, it's, gone, by, it's gone by fast, man. All right. Still need to look and buy a, a youngster though. Like, don't get this shit fucked up. Let me see. Do I get somebody in my youth intake? Youth candidates? No, of course not. Scouting update. <laughs> no recommendations. I might need to fire my scout. How about that? Because last year, I didn't remember putting any time in the back, the back, um, you know, staff. So I might do that this year. Because if I have to wait until, when is this man? Jo he is joining. Oh, he's joining uh, in a month. I was about to say, what's taking so long? But the Brazilian season hasn't even started. So I understand. Let me see who got transfer listed. <laughs> I'm trying to see some. Hmm. No, that 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 wasn't impressive. All right, now I'm gonna look at a maximum of a player that's 19 year old, eight years old that we could potentially sign. I know Luke, Luke and Nets is good. I'm gonna scout them. And we'll see what they have to say. Oh yeah, I forgot about Florian Words. Totally forgot about this dude. But it seems like he's not there with his potential yet. So I'll, I'll stall on him. Let me see the Fermento. He's not there as well. He's just really quick. Mm. 
Fabio Cavalli, who are you? Why the hell is your recommendation so high? Man, they need to stop sending me these scams. I'm telling you. Might have to look a bit younger still. Like, maybe max 17 years. Because, um, let me take away the interested in man. Like, how the hell are you seventy years old and you don't want to play for for uh, for Chelsea? What the fuck's wrong with you? We could sign Mukoko maybe. Oh no, he's a lot of money. Let me take that back. Mm, this Luca Romero guy though, who is he? Nah, he isn't that great. He looked great because he got two stars, but that's two star shit don't mean shit sometimes. Same with this guy, like, so many things that need to be worked on, it's gonna take millions for them to become good. You know what, we'll look at this later. I might just send a good scout and look it over because I'm not seeing anything that's worth wasting any time right now. So we're just gonna continue and play this these friendlies to try and prepare this squad for the worst. Because the Premier League has been the worst to us last year. Okay, there. I already suggested me changing my lineup, but I'm not feeling what they're suggesting, to be honest. Like, okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, but no. I want to give Rice as much game time as I can because, he, first of all, he's my most expensive midfielder. And I really had, like, a vision. Like, I thought that... The reason I suffered a lot of goals was because my um, tactic was, you know, invested heavily on the attack. And I know that Chelsea has a history of playing defensively and park the bus. I would never go park the bus on a, on us on these teams, but maybe I do need to play with a number six. So I want to try that as long as I can. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But I want to. Okay, it's no longer a weakness for quickness. Fine. Voice using weaker foot has a weak left foot. Um, knocks ball past the pole and suits his strong athletic ability. Yeah, I might get Braha a chance. I might. Um, okay. Let's get into this game. Van der Voort is making his. Oh, I didn't even. I need to change it. Van der Voort is gonna make his debut today. I don't know why the hell. It changed it up to him being a DM. I don't know why the fuck it did that. That was annoying. Well, um, I think Saul needs to play as well. Just off the fact that he is, he hasn't played shit yet, so he's gonna be a, I guess a, a deep line playmaker. No, he Gilmore's already a deep line playmaker, so it's gonna be box to box. Mm, we got Havertz. Mm. Mm. Pedro Poro can play, of course. Am I gonna put Bastoni on the bench? Nah, no need. Okay, am I pleased with this selection? Can I continue? Oh yeah, I wanted to play Rice actually. What? Why the fuck did I? Yeah, I'm gonna play Rice. I'm sorry. I'm gonna switch this whole selection up. Rice is playing. I need to know what he's gonna do this game. You know, like. If this is a flop, I need to know as quickly as possible. Mm. Yeah, we'll box the box on him and Torres, Pistoni, Hakimi. Van de Voort is in goal, though. That's not changing. Okay, Garcia is not playing because he's already playing on the 23s. Sula can stay over there. And Padu's also making his debut. I don't give a fuck. He is. Gonna play 
it as a stop though. I hate the fact that I constantly need to change everything because a lot of players aren't fit yet. Like, hurry up. He's gonna be there for support. Uh, Everest also is not fit, so fuck it. I'm gonna get into this game now because I'm taking 10 minutes to do this. Let's get into this game. PSG, and that's a strong ass side. Like they're playing everybody that they're going there. They were supposed to play. <sighs> I'm not bothered by that though. Like, we'll give it our best shot. Come on, boys. Some new faces. Try and get along as quick as possible. We're gonna need it. Good ball by Bastoni. Yeah, I don't expect us to suffer defensively. Even though we got some new phases over here, it's no excuse. Ensu on it. Sure. Good ball to Rice. Yes. Allen. Unlucky. Unlucky. We're out there, man. We're out there. Some good play. Putting pressure on them. Okay, now defensive. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, good block. Who blocked it? Um, I think that was Ampadu. Good block by Ethan. What shirt number is he wearing, actually? I forgot. Oh, they put a game of number four. <laughs> Chihuahua crossing. Good cross! Oh, what a save. <laughs> by the goalkeeper that I swapped with. Like, they got O Black now. Now, if they got O Black, they should have his uh, blunders as well. Or did he only use that against me? Messi's on it. They gave him number seven. Like this, this game is tweaking sometimes, man. I'm telling you. Oh, what a what a ball! Oh my god. I don't know how. Um, yeah, that's why I should have played Gaia. Chihuahua well missed that tackle. We could could have conceded over there. We really could have conceded. I like the fact that even though FM doesn't really put that much effort into face recognition, they make Kante ball. <laughs> At least they got that on point, you know, like Kante is the only ball player on this on the pitch. <laughs> I enjoy these small things like that, man. I'm telling you. That, that shit funny as hell. Ansu on it. Good cross. Ah. Unlucky. Look. Uh, I'll tell you what. If he would have played like this in the return game, we definitely would have won. Because we were up two with two goals. We had a two-goal cushion. And we lost four or five nil. That's exactly why I'm playing defensively right now. Like, I can't afford no ass whooping like that ever again. Empadu on it, good ball. Enzo on it, great pass to Saul. Good pass to Rice from Rice. Enzo on it. Ah, oh, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. It 
It might be just me, but I'm, I'm getting the feeling that Rice is a bit clumsy. I don't know. It might be just me noticing that, but it's like he doesn't know what to do when he gets the ball, you know? I might tell him to... Oh, what a good goal. That's a good goal. Had him with the header. That's why we bought him. But um, I might change um, his instructions because he's playing so softly, you know? I've never seen him do something where I'm like, yeah, that's why I bought you. Like, you're not a center back, you know? I don't know if I told you to play as a center back, but um, you're not. Let me personalize your instructions and give you some new ones. I don't want you to get further forward. I want you to take... Ah. Uh, can't even tell him to do anything. Okay, with support, I can. Um, You shouldn't get further forward. You should tackle hard. Um, freedom of movement. Yes. Direct passing. You should dribble. You should shoot. And you should take... I'll put it on take more risk because I just want to see something more from you right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna tell you to mark anybody specifically, but I do want to see more from you, man. Like, paid some good money to get you over here, Bastoni. Hey, I'll tell you what, Bastoni has already scored like four or five goals. He had one one game where he made a hat trick. Hey. I'm telling you, Stoney is becoming the club hero, the next club hero. I'm telling you. In the season before, he was already showing up, but he was quietly, you know, with good tackles and blocks and everything. But now he's also scoring. And he's the captain this season, so I'm curious to see how he gets on. I'm going to put us on attacking right now because I do want us to dominate. And get a bit of payback from what we went through. So I was on it. Uh oh, unlucky. Come on, stop him, boys. I think so. Yeah, Saul blocked it. Nice. Rice, Rice with a. I'm already. <laughs> I'm already set to tell him to stop risking these passes because that wasn't it. That ball wasn't it. I thought it was a brilliant pass that I couldn't see what he was doing, but no. That was stupid. They keep me with a cross, though. Unlucky, Alan. I'm telling you guys, like, I have no idea, but I've seen, no, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I've seen so many attempts, attempted headers. I've seen that happen more than shots at goal. I don't know how to feel about it. You see? Every time a cross gets sent in, it's a header. No volleys. No um, flick on the chest and maybe shoot it then. Just headers. Let me make some subs. Um, yeah, Chihuahua is getting sucked off. Felix is getting coming on. Um, yeah, Pedro Gonzalez because Steven Garcia is just too tired, he's way too tired. Um, Flau Feach, yeah, after I've yelled at him, I want to see what he does with it. So he's gonna come on. Rice has been disappointing, like, I can't hold it in anymore. I haven't seen jack shit from him, so I don't know whether he needs a lot of time to adjust. I'm hoping that's the case, but I don't know how to feel about him right now because I've paid some good money for him to, you know, cut, get in the club and show a new philosophy to this side that was only used to attacking and attacking and conceding a lot of goals, but I haven't even seen defensively anything from him. And he's, oh, they're saying that he's, he was having a good game, but I didn't see it. So maybe I do, I do need to give him some time, but I'm a bit impatient, you know. <laughs> Just a bit. Maybe that's just me um, 
projecting frustration from the fact that we missed out on Kimmich. Because I'm telling you, Kimmich would have been different. He's, he would definitely would have been different, bro. It's never too late, man. We might be able to get him next season. And he might be the replacement of Rice if Rice doesn't step up. Like, he really needs to step up. That was a good pass by Pedro, but Vlaovic on, his, on the same bullshit he did last game. <sighs> might have to sell him. Average with a good ball. Vlaovic didn't... Yeah, he did contest it, but he wasn't at the right spot. And Average made, played it smart because he knew he was offside. Mason, oh, but he would have found Pedro. He would have found Pedro. I'm telling you, that was a great ball. Put my hats off to that. Come on, pressure, boys. Still 2 0. I don't want to have a deja vu. Come on, Ampadu. Get up. Oh, my God. He should have. Ampadu should have made the tackle. I'm telling you. Ampadu should have made the tackle. I don't know why he didn't commit to it because I'm I told him he could and that nearly cost us the fact that he didn't commit to a tackle those were some good opportunities but um, yeah they got squandered before they even turned into something big okay um time for some ah, fuck that I'm not gonna make a sub in the 90th minute stupid Average. Hakimi on it. Cross it, cross it, cross it. He doesn't cross a lot, does he? And that's crazy because I remember Hakimi that did nothing but crossing. And great as well. Try to doing stay in position for Flappy. Yeah, that, that, that might be the reason. It might be. He's been disappointed, to say the least. At least we won against PSG. <laughs> no, no way that Straw Felix should be a squad player. Come on now. Now they're just being disrespectful. Speaking of a player that hasn't played in years, what about Bailly though? What happened to him? I remember when United signed him and he was next to be the next cent big center back over there, but a lot of players flopped over there, man. Now we have to play Sevilla again. Last time we played Sevilla in the Champions League, we won 5-0. And the game after that, we, we drew 2-2. So that was a 7-2 end fixture. Man, City took Allegri. Man, I could have taken the job. I could have. But I stayed loyal to this side. Why I believe in them. And to be dead honest with you guys... Now that I've looked at the expectations for this year, the expectations are way more cutthroat the this year than last year, man. I'm telling you, I could get sacked easily this year, easily. Yeah, like then they should play like it if they have potential to become better. Because I'm not seeing it, but um, now I'm I'm still waiting on the report of Olise. It's not there yet. But the expectations of this year, they already they expected me to win the Club World Cup that I couldn't even use all the players, and I still lost. <laughs> I lost against Bayern. They want me to win, to, to go for Champions League sp spots, which I understand, but they expect me to win the Europa League and win all the other competitions. So this year is, is no joke. It's no joke at all. Oh, I have to sign in with the... Um, I have no idea if I'll be able to do it, though. Because 
be honest, I've barely signed English players. I don't think I have even. Empadu got back though, so that should be good. I need to have a minimum of eight. I might be in trouble. Oh, Jude Bellingham. Yeah, he's English as well. And Hudson Odoi, but uh, he's actually leaving soon, so I'm kind of cheating. Gilmore. Oh, I already got it. I already got it. I, I was worried for nothing. Gonzalez. Holy fuck. I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. I can have a maximum squad size of 25. And. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and so far it doesn't have to be signed in. Thank, thank, thank god, thank god. I just made it. Do you guys realize that? If I would have to sign in and Sufari, I would have been in trouble. Because then I would have had to leave him out or Helen. And we already know who, who I would have cho chosen. Let's see if I got everybody signed in. Because if I miss if I accidentally miss somebody out, I'm in trouble. No no no, I got everybody. We just made it, man. We just made it. I'm glad that he is, um, he doesn't need to be signed in. Oh, Oli says he's like a C minus. That's, that's unfortunate. But yeah, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> the problem with youngsters, when you play for a good side and you sign good players is that they don't seem like a good signing no more. That sucks. Because I've been through that a lot. But, um, I promise you, next time, um, yeah, I'm, I'm speaking a bit in the future, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a save on my YouTube channel. And that one is gonna be with a smaller side in the, in the Prem. So, these youngsters, I'll definitely try and sign them because the team is gonna need them. But this side is already... Uh, strong at the point that a lot of these players aren't valued so there wouldn't be a yeah big deal of me signing them either okay let's see the, the squad numbers um van de Voort is gonna get number 13 oh wait fuck okay 25 then i can't give 25 because zola got it that's some bullshit uh, what number is Van der Voort gonna get, man? Fuck it, he'll get 16. Um, Empadu. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna give Empadu number 16. I'm sorry, Van der Voort. Van der Voort, I wanna, I'm just gonna give him number 13, man. I'm done. Akimi wants to get number 2. Gaia's actually a number 2. Should I just give it to him? Fuck it. Because Gaia used to be number 14, I, I remember. So, he's going to take number 14. Saul's going to take... Fuck it, he can take number 18, I guess. Yeah, because he was number 8 before, but Maniko Fichabi's got that one now. So, he's number 18 this year. Um... He's just get Angelo Gabriel. I'll uh, check if Angel Gabriel scout before I got back. Jill Bellingham, no. Hudson Adoy. Mm. Fuck it, you'll get number 24. Gonzalez is gonna get number. <sighs> He's gonna get number 27. I don't give a fuck about these players, so you'll get number 33. And you'll get number 25. Because you're y'all y'all are getting sold. Um Damn it, dog. Why do why the fuck do I still have to do this? 40. 42. 36. 34, 39, okay, that should be it, but I'm actually gonna 
oh yeah i could have auto picked but i was uh, skeptical because somebody was gonna get number 10 and i'm actually trying to give somebody in this squad the number 10 but i don't know i don't know who rafina is not gonna get it hannah's not gonna get it he's not gonna get it no I'm, oh yeah i'll see if i should stay on six oh uh, i think average is gonna take it i'm think i'm yeah i think average is gonna take it because he's a cam anyway so why let him uh why should he have number 29 he's gonna take number 10. yeah he, it's even his preferred number so average is our new number 10 ladies and gentlemen rafinha's 11 chihuahua 12 13 fan of Ward. number two hakimi um yeah man that's how their our team would line up all right Okay, the squad numbers are there. And we're now gonna play the next game, but let us check Anthony Gabriel first. Oh, he had a C rating. He's cheap though. But I don't decent ratings he's pendling between a decent rating and a star rating that that's difficult i will try and make an offer for him though like i want to see um yeah i'm gonna make an offer for him i'm not gonna pay the full price though of course like let's see 2.5 million and then 3 million should be enough Let's bring Hazard to Chelsea back. <laughs> Do you realize that Hazard is 30 years old now and injury prone? <laughs> like, I'll look Hazard up, but come on. <coughs> I have no idea whether he would work. Yeah, he's 31 now. And he's 132 million. Let me check his... He doesn't have uh, the injury proneness in him. But his wage budget. Oh, my God. I tell you what. If somehow we manage to sign Mbappe, we might trade him off with um, Hazard. How about that? Because I wouldn't use Mbappe anyway. And he would go to Real Madrid in real life. So it would be realistic if I would swap him over with Hazard. But it would go, it would harm um, the development of Fadi. Like Ansu Fadi is really uh, putting in the work. So I would hate to disappoint him, you know. I'd be gutted if I had to disappoint him. Am I going to use this squad? Will this cost 14 million for Gabriel Angelo? Okay. I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, you'll you'll be a sweeper though. Um, Bastoni Empedu. Is Empedu still playing this game? Yeah, he is. But I might use the. Yeah, I'm gonna use the second team this time. Around. Youth team. Average is playing though. And. Gilmore, yeah, Gilmore is gonna be on the bench for the for the minute, for a minute. Let's see. Um, gonna be in the dance late me Okay, and then Empedu is gonna be. Yeah, he was a stopper, but he didn't. That didn't. He didn't do shit when he was. He'll just be a central defender right now. Like, there should be. Oh, he's a ball-playing defender. 
Falcon, Defender, and then... I'll let you cover. Yeah, you should cover. Um, Pearl should be in, should not be in the lineup. Gaia's playing this time. Is Pedro Gonzalez again gonna be in the on the wing? I don't think so. Oh, he should though. He still needs the game time. Um, yo, I'm gonna be excited when everybody gets his game time in and they st stop complaining. With this arrow and this shit. Like, this shit an annoys me. Um, Who needs to be on the bench as well? Like, I think Sule. Where's Sule? Where the fuck is Sule? Oh, Sule's already playing. Fuck sake. It's Tony then. Alright, let me save it up. And then we can get into this game. on it go on Charles Felix good ball by Sule Pedro with the pass Saul oh unlucky unlucky Saul nearly with an assist um I'm actually gonna loan ah, a doy out because he, he barely grew so a lot of wingers that I have right now are better than him. Like, even the youngster that I have that is 15 years old is almost as good or better than Hudson. So, I'm going to loan him out one more time. Because I've played him in the pre uh, preseason and he wasn't that good, if I'm that honest. So, I might as well just loan him out while I'm... <sighs> we also need to have a conversation about Flauvis because I've talked to him. Criticized them, berated them. Nothing works. How is that a goal kick? The ball went in. Yo, that's some bullshit. Everts. Fuck's sake. Gotta say, the number 10 looks good on him. He, he worked for it. So, let's hope he gets at least 10 goals now that he got that shirt number. Flow, where a ball by Bellingham and... Flower features, no chip, no nothing. This man needs to work on his positions. Bellingham setting a great ball. Van der with his first save. Nice, Ampadu. Nice. So I want it. Ampadu. Bellingham. Yo, Bellingham is sending great balls right now. Try and stay in your position for Flowerbees. Let me try. Um. Hold up, ball. Hold up, ball. Moving the channels. Forward, advance forward. Like, if I can personalize it and change it, I can. I will. Um, hold position. Oh, it's it's contradicting with um advance forward. So, need to try something else. Same with deep line. Same with poacher. Like Jesus. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, but there is no. Oh, the pressing forward, I can change it. Pressing forward is the only one I can change it with. So, I'm going to put him as a pressing forward and tell him the whole position. And shoot more often. No, 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 no. I'm not going to tell him to dribble less. Like, he needs to dribble more, actually. But, fuck it. 
Okay, now that he got that in, I'm hoping he, he's, he does better now. And actually, I'm gonna put Havertz on his, uh... Wait, well, let me see. Wrong from position, he just, no. And gun change over less. Shadow striker. Yeah, I'm gonna put him as a shadow striker then. Yeah, I've, I've already changed it with Flaovic. He's gonna hold position now. me on it Havertz oh Havertz needs scores I want to put them on attacking because this game is boring as hell Pedro with a good cross betting him just running with it plays it unlucky guy with the cross now Unlucky. Another cross. Sule with the header. Well done. Sule with a nice goal. Harris is with the ball. He's running with it. Great ball to Swell Felix. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Yeah, Empedu's having a good game. Unfortunately. Sal was being a bit quiet. But he'll, he'll, he'll get back on his feet. I'm sure of that. Good ball by Gaia. Oh. Like, you know, I can't get happy with these goals because the thing that, the, that bothers me is that it's camouflaging the fact that Flower is in, in, it's not in a good form, you know. I get it, he scored. But how, how many times is he going to stand in front of the goal and be able to tap it in, like in the Premier League? If these are the only goals he can score, I might as well get rid of him. So I, I want to see some glimpses of hope, you know. I don't want to see these tap-ins no more because these tap-ins are getting played out. I could have had my goalkeeper tap that goal in, you know. I want to see, see, see her run and see some hope from this dude. Like, oh, unlucky Havertz. I think it's time for some new subs. Wait a minute. Like, one more opportunity and then I'll make some new subs. Oh, no. Time for some subs. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. I do not know. And Sufati is coming on. Um, Steven Garcia is gonna get games in honor 23, so he's just he's not gonna come on today. Rafinha is coming on. Um, Malinko Fisavich is definitely coming on. He's a box to box midfielder, so he'll stay like that. Bellingham is coming off. He had a good game, though. I can't say nothing bad about Bellingham today. Um, Gil yeah, Gilmore. And there's no point in Southern and Rice today because this game was already done and dusted. But with Mount, I have to see. Like, I'm gonna play with dream three midfielders today. It's fucking annoying, this shit. 
box to box. This guy's gonna play as a deep line playmaker. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, deep line playmaker. This guy's gonna play as a box to box as well. So deep line playmaker. Okay, what? Um, I don't know, man. Let me just put him in support. I mean, defensive. Oh, flower feet. Yeah, okay, he's gonna stay like that. Friday's coming on. Friday's gonna play as a inside forward. Um, I'm gonna sub on Holland. I want Holland to show, um, you know, to like show. Uh, Flavich what he should be doing because he's not doing it today so Gaia's coming off um, yeah he's coming off Torres is coming on for Ampadu because he's tired nah I'm just gonna let him finish the game if my assistant tells me to sum him off I'll sum him off but I want them to get match fit I don't want it to take like 10 games for players to get match fit. Like it's taking way too long. I've had a, a worse type of uh, preparation last time around. Whose mistake was this though? I want to know. Ampadu made a great tackle. And then there was nobody to, to, to back him up. Great. That's the worst moment to concede a goal and you've made substitutions substitutions are made to prevent conceding like it just went backwards it is, it's okay if Haaland scores like I'll forget about it yo why is everybody falling asleep what the fuck is going on and Sufari on it. Haaland. Whoa, unlucky, unlucky. Good good shot though. That's exactly the type of shot that I'm look that I'm trying to look for. Chilwell's on it. And Sufari with a good ball. Mount. No. Again, mount, please. Ah. Okay, now they're telling me to make a sub, like. Let's make the substitutions. And the Stoney. I want them to just maintain this lead, though. Let's just not give it away. Yeah, he needs to cover. Okay. Gilmore with a great pass. Yeah, I'm keeping Gilmore. I'm, I'm offset it already. I'm keeping Gilmore. I might just deal with it, man. I might just deal with having a midfielder. Just one midfielder more than I should have. Like, fuck it. Because it's not, it's not looking like I'll be able to get a loan deal anyway. And they're playing well together, so. Look at these passes. It's crazy. This man was playing for Norwich. They got relegated. But these passes that Gilmore is playing is not no joke. I'm not, I'm not putting him on loan. Come on now. Why would I? Look at these passes, dog. This man is playing. Oh, I was about to say play Gilmore again, but no. Had, uh, had, Helen's had, had a few chances as well. Like, I don't know what's happening. Helen is through. I'm starting to understand why um, Pep Guardiola started stop playing without um, center, uh, strikers. I'm starting to understand it. Cause my strikers are useless at this point. I don't know why Haaland's rating is rising when he's missing sitters consistently. Hakimi on it. Shege on it. Uh, so He's over the... <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Never mind. He's, he wasn't over the line. Fuck it. Anzu on it. 
Sergey, fuck's sake. Mount on it then. Chill well. Unlock me. Rafinha, keep me on it. We'll let him cross. Fuck's sake. Ansu on it. <sighs> Yo, Sergey is has hit the crossbar three times in a row. Three times already. Gilmore, shoot it. Unlucky. That could have been a goal, you know, like, hey, this man is no knows what he's doing. And I forgot about the set pieces again. Like I'm gonna do it this game. I need to see who's who are my set piece takers right now, cause they're flopping the game. That's a great ball. Nice. That's exactly the type of finishing that I was talking about, you know? Flavis could have done that ages ago. I don't know why he doesn't do it anymore. Rafinha on it. Unlucky. All the whistles blown. Game is over. It's not that I'm pessimistic, but I don't see us uh, winning against Liverpool playing like this. Not again. Like after the one time we did, I think we were a bit lucky, but we need to be focused. I need to find out which, who's going to be the third midfielder because um, Bellingham has showed progress. Gilmore show progress. Mount hasn't been has been a bit quiet. Same with um, Saul. So it can go either way, man. Finally got rid of uh, Miazga though. I'll try complete striker. Funny thing now is that I was right. I bought the right amount of players because if I would have bought somebody else, they wouldn't even be able to be signed in the Premier League. So even if I would sign this dude, he would have to go into Sabma on the 23s. Um, wait a minute, he got a fractured jaw? Jesus. Okay, um, his release clause was 12 million. Fuck it, I'll pay you. Okay, you have a minimum of four on clubs. Then they have to accept it, so. Um, now nah, they're. I wasn't even supposed to know that. Okay, it's up to you, man. Let me know. A loan back, yes or no? Because 
he's definitely not you know what i actually want to have him in my development center because my under 23s is empty it's empty as shit look and we don't have a, a winger so yeah we only got garcia and to be honest they're both right wingers so it would be they it would be those two you know let me see about his observations what are they telling me okay he has progressed nicely great great let me train him again though i want to train him on something uh, should i um load him back because i need to know i might just sign him man for the fact that my my second team and everything my under 23 is is empty yeah i'll i'll i'll, uh, I'll accept it i'll just i won't load him back i will uh, reject the loan back and negotiate his contract a breakthrough prospect yeah that's recommended so great he's not gonna get no yearly wage rise he's not gonna get these two he's not gonna get this one as well you'll get an assist bonus i don't give a fuck about the assist bonus um and my potentially a bit higher wages yeah he's okay with that so his deal should be over the line soon. I'll reject the loan back. And he'll be in my youth setup. Yeah, I'm gonna play Steven again time for steven to shine again after he became the youngest ever premier league goal scorer we got a potential legend <laughs> if he uh, stays fit of course oh my god i tell you what we'll play today until after we've played the first game of the season and we'll just leave it at that because we've had like nearly 10 games today with all the friendlies that we've had played so we're gonna play like until the first game of the season and then um next uh tomorrow is gonna be the start of the whole month okay it's no longer has a weakness for ball control and first touch that's great let me train him on something else then um yeah it's his strength is okay his strength is okay so let me see something else stamina needs to be better same with the work rate so we're gonna train that and after that we're gonna tackle this off the ball yeah it's this off the ball needs to be way better we're gonna encourage this man to become better slowly piece by piece might become like our next uh striker because Flavich, i'm i'm losing my faith in that dude i really am fuck it buy him please take him hey lario wasn't he yeah he was a goalkeeper i remember him Nice to see that they're getting their coaching qualifications. Should be playing it from. Why the fuck did this? Ugh, I should have. I should have read it. Um, yeah, Lukaku is back at Inter. I need to see. Well, um, let me see how he's doing. He might win another Ballon d'Or after that 40 goal season. Because he played better than Ronaldo. That's wise. Yeah, he is pleased to have joined Inter. He has already scored eight goals in the FIFA World Club World, Club World Cup qualification, and uh, he scored three in the Nations League. He's, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Oh, um, by the
by the way we still have to wait on um, Angelo because he's still he's yet to come back okay I'm gonna try this guy as a complete striker like let's see complete forward Running on the patience with him. Um, Celta de Vigo. Are we gonna use this squad or a weaker side? Let's see. Yeah, so isn't. He's always okay. He's also starting this game, but I want to play Gilmar. And yeah. Mm, what is his primary position? It's a deep line playmaker. for now Garcia is gonna make his debut he's gonna play again um same with friend of all these also staying in goal and Badu is still playing so who needs his match business as well so a, a lot of these players are gonna be on the bench still same with Declan I, I don't see if it doesn't work, drop him to the under 23s. Yeah. Mm. Alright, let me save it up first. In case some bullshit goes down. And after that, it's uh, Sevilla. No Celta de Vigo time. I will sub on um, Declan Rice later this this game, just because he didn't play last time. But I don't think there's no need for that. I mean, Celta de Vigo, they're an okay team, but you're not telling me that they're better than this side. And this isn't even my strongest eleven. Great ball by so <sighs> Garcia. <laughs> he needs to work on his dribbling, man. I'm telling you. That's the only thing standing in front of him right now. Suit it. Sean Felix on the run. Garcia, make it, make it. Oh my god, he hits the post. That's it. <laughs> That's the whole thing with these youngsters, man. Like, you're so excited for them to work out. And then, <laughs> oh, they play with your heart like this. He hits the post, dog. Keep, look, look, I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do it right now because I, f I forget about it every single time. Set piece takers. Who's my best corner taker? Let me know. Okay, Rafinha. He is the best corner taker. Free kicks. Milinkovic Savic is. I didn't know that. Oh, I can't select him because he's not in the lineup, of course. Gaia then. Yeah, I'll, I have to change this outside of the game because right now I can't do shit.
Key me on it. Flaovic. Why, why am I expecting something else? Why? Flaovic with another tap in. Like, it's getting repetitive at this point. The only thing he scores is tap -ins. I can place my goalkeeper at striker and he'll score a goal like this. Like, come on. They're making him look great. I don't agree with it. Oh, Garcia nearly scored. Havertz on it. Jesus Christ, Havertz. The fuck was that? Flaovic on it. I'm telling you. <laughs> he's not going to be here for long if he keeps doing this. Every time this man gets a clear-cut chance, he completely wastes it. me on it that's a pen who's actually taking the penalty because I have no idea I have no idea who's taking that who's that Saul it gets fucking saved it gets saved dog it gets saved for fuck's sake unbelievable Still one nil. All right, man. Let's let's see. A lot of targets. Trying to board on it. I'm gonna make some subs soon because I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Sell him a news broha. <laughs> You're reading my mind, man. I'm telling you. And actually, if I do that, I'll be able to buy some youngsters, some more youngsters. So <clears throat> You're you're giving me a good idea. Cause I do want to use Broha in the first team. I've said that before. I just, I'm, I'm just going to give Borja uh, a go, man, because this isn't it. <laughs> Gilmore nearly had an assist. All right, I think 55, after 55 minutes of football, we're going to make some subs. Average on it. Schwau, Flaovic, get off the pitch. I've seen enough. Okay, um, you're going to be a poacher again. Garcia's going to come off, and Rafinha's finally going to come on. Uh, Ansu Fadi has an inside forward. Or maybe this time an inverted ringer. That might work. Declan is going to come on. Because I don't want to give away this 1-0 uh, lead. I'm playing with defensive. So I was gonna come off. He missed the penalty. I don't I wouldn't say it's his fault, but I'm disappointed still. He's gonna be a box to box. This guy's got so uh, yeah, let me play him as a ball winning midfielder actually. For no um advanced playmaker attacking wise. 
Fletcher can solve this is not coming on. I already subbed everybody at the attacking stage, so um I'm gonna sub off Sula. Empathy needs the game time still. Yeah, he needs the game time. And chill will. Yo, Hakimi hasn't been doing anything to be honest, man. Like I've put him on attack, but fucks. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> that might be what I what was wrong before. Okay, we'll see if it changes anything. Yeah, I'll see who wants Flower Beach after I've put him on a transfer list because um as much as I wanted him to work, he worked for half a season and that that was it. That was the best he could do for me. Rice nearly scored. Ravinia on it. Holland. Mount. Chiro. Go cross. Holland. Fuck's sake. Finia, unlucky. Finia's on it. Come on, cross it. Allen, oh, Jesus Christ. This game has been boring, dog. Nothing but boring. I'm surprised we even get, got away with the win, to be honest. I'm actually surprised. Go to Chiro on far post crossing. Yeah, I did do that, but... They just don't seem to do it that much. Or up for it, to be honest. Huh. I'll join it, Helen, please. Wow. My strikers are disturbingly incapable of finishing. I don't know how many one-on-one -on -one opportunities have been missed by my, by my strikers. I don't know. It's like I'm playing FM 17 instead of 22. Where are the chip shots? I'm playing with arguably the best striker in the world at the moment. And he's missing every one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Of course! This is exactly what would have happened. Like, I didn't like I didn't see this coming from a fucking mile away. Okay, this dude is supposed to be an advance forward. Then, <sighs> then play like it. Chill, well, like I don't know what the fuck your problem is. 
Let me personalize it and give you ass instructions. Cross the ball. Target forward. Like, we got a target for us, so you should play me. And stay wider. Cross more often. Cross on the byline. Do it. Fucking piece. Oh, it, was, it wasn't... It got disallowed. I didn't expect it. Everett's. I mean, Haaland. That's a pen, ref. Oh! Great goal by Declan Rice. Great goal. Banks it in the top corner. Who got the assist? Haaland? Oh, no. Ampadu got, got it. Nice. He just took a touch and just smashed it in the top corner. The goalkeeper couldn't even move. What the fuck? And it's mound on it. Rice. Oh, game, game's done. Yeah, we played okay. We played okay. We could have done better, bro, though. I'm happy with the goals that we scored. Let me just put it like that. Couldn't say that we hammered them. We just won the game. Nothing more to say than that. Oh, I think Angelo could be joining any day now. We almost, we're almost there. Like, the Premier League is nearly starting. I'm happy we got the deals over the line in time. That's that's the one thing I'm happy about. Benfica is gonna buy Ronaldo Sanchez back. Like I don't know where Benfica got that money from, but they're doing it. Let me actually compare him to Gilmore. Is he better than Gilmore? No, they're they're quite similar actually. Apart from the fitness and the strength, they're they're the same player. Only Gilmore's three years younger. Yeah. All right. QPR one back, so get him. Could become much better than Donnarumma. Nice. He could be much better. Yeah, Mitchy Butchy White is not a player to compare anybody by. <laughs> no, don't do it. Um. Yeah, I've seen enough, man. Where is he at? Flaovic. My guy, I'm sorry, but um, I think it's time. Maybe that's what happened, but if that's the case, like, I can't do shit about that. Like, then you have to go. I'm sorry. I'll just sell you for your uh, valuation. He would be happy with that asking price. That is some good news because usually this is some bullshit. <laughs> don't use the editor. I don't want to see him again. <laughs> ah. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking dying, man. You're, you're funny as shit. Okay. I do then have to look who wants him because I do believe he needs a, you know what? Juventus bought him in real life. And that was one thing that I was thinking about, like, if that he would have to leave the next season. So I'll just sell him to Juventus. Fuck it. Juve, you can have him. Um, yeah, they can have him. 120 million. I mean, 112 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They got him. No one will buy him. <laughs> You're being harsh, man. You're being harsh. <laughs> Oh, now with the 100 million, we can definitely 
focus on getting in some youth players. So if you could help me find these young talents, that would help out a lot. Because the youth team got relegated last season. Like they need they need our help. They do. Like we of course need midfielders. Like I don't know if Mariba is good enough though. If I'm dead honest. I don't know what happened with this scouting summary. Like, what the fuck is going on? Did he? What happened? Oh, he's expensive though. He's fucking in. I'm, I'll tell you one thing. Though. I'm not gonna blow my entire, um, you know, my entire budget on one player or two players. Like that's that's dead to me. That don't exist to me. So if I'm buying somebody, it's because I um, need them for, f you know, in the future. Like Mukoko, for example, he definitely might be somebody to go after, given the fact that he's only 17. Let's see if I can get him on installments and only pay 10 million. That'd be that'd be an insane deal. Imagine this this working. It it will actually work. They do want a percentage from the next sale, and they want eight million after. Now nah, I'm gonna turn it into 2.5. Say yes. They say yes. There's only 42 million for Yusuf Mukoku. He's a great player, but I I do need to look at like defensive type of players because I'm running. I got a lot of attacking players. You see, I got Kaluka got uh, way, um, loaned out. We got this striker, a winger, another striker. He's going to get it to the first team, of course. But, um, yeah, we need some defensive players, man. We need center backs. We need goalkeepers. We need those type of players. We don't need no more attackers. We already got them. Um, Arezo, who's this? Another striker. I got my head full of these strikers. He's not bad though, I'll tell you that. Like I'll get a scout report, press the transfer value, and it will show you the cheap. Mm, interested. Yeah, but if I put if I press that, that means that um a lot of players won't be on there because I can still convince youngsters to join me, but with these adult players, they don't wanna join me no more because I don't got Champions League football. But these youngsters can still join. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I did that. I did that. I do want the best ones they got to offer. So, um, I've seen this guy be okay. Like it wasn't that bad. Um, let's see who else. This Viterbi guy. He's. I don't think he's good enough. Um, Krumny. No, he's nowhere good enough. Rinaldi. He's from Parma. Let me compare him with the guy from Spurs. No, he's way better. He's way better. So he might buy the guy from Spurs, but the problem with him is that he's French. So he wouldn't have a player that have, could have homegrown. Does he have homegrown status? Let me see. He doesn't. That's an issue. We might have to go after an English one. And I'll, I'll bump it up to 21 because these goalkeepers are shit. Okay, but now we got something better. We got, oh wait, Bazunu. Wait, why is his rating so low? I don't understand. Like, he was used to be good in this game. I don't know what happened. Um, let me scout Lewis Jr. Yeah, he's look he's looking bright. This guy is looking great. Uh, let me scout the Ivan Martinez as well. Like the Lewis Jr. is looking good. The Trubin guy, he's looking okay. But Lewis Jr. he's got a lot of stats that are good. So I might even go ahead and just already go for an offer. Well, I'll have to wait a bit because 
this guy also might be good. Let me compare him with Lewis. Oh, no, with Lewis Jr. Yeah, Lewis Jr. is a bit better than him. But, of course, it would benefit me to go after, uh, wow, 9 throwing. Go to a sponsor, give some stuff to sign on a two player that you should do it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I kind of want to look around myself, but I'm wasting time. You know, I'm gonna um, scout off camera a bit more, but we're just gonna. Fuck's sake! You could have signed Mukoko, but he got a new contract. Some bullshit. He might go for a loan deal and then just sign him permanently. But the problem with a loan deal is that he needs to play in the first team. I already got too many wins in the first team, so that's not happening. Some bullshit, dog. I'll tell you what, guys. We'll just play the matches in front of us until we have to play the uh, Fulham game, which we're also going to play. And after that, it's done for the episode. Uh, the episode for today is done. And then after that, we'll, we'll, you know. We'll go back to it tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm tired. All right, the friend is coming up. You already know who's in in uh, striker position. Roja. Uh, I want to see what his uh, his recommendation is to play as a present forward. Um, complete forward also looks good, but we'll just go for the present forward. He can hold up the ball, close down, move in the channels. Yeah. You know, I actually want to start him as a complete forward, man. I'm sorry. He can roam from position and do all kinds of shit. Like, he's fast. So, I want to see his pace, you know. So, we're going to start off with him at playing as a pressing uh, in complete forward. What are his negatives? I want to see. He has... He feels he deserves a new contract. Has no strong feeling about the manager. Okay. Let me give you a new contract then. Let's get that out of the way. You're still a breakthrough prospect. You'll turn into a fringe player and a squad player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me negotiate a new contract with you. You can forget about these things. You're not going to get those. You will get a goal bonus, though. I'll tell you that. And a, a higher wage fee. How about that? Yeah, he's good with that. So now, let's see. Do we got everybody that we need? Against Utrecht. Yeah. I think I think this this uh, formation is fine. I'm going to put him back on um, Baldwin. No advanced. Advanced playmaker. No, no, no. Both of them are advanced playmaker now. So deep line, defensive. Empadu is still playing. Hakimi is still playing. When is Sporo going to be fit, man? Oh, he's still injured. Okay. Um. Okay, Hakimi is staying then. Torres is 
playing again, at least. Yeah, Taurus is gonna play again. Oh, he can actually have four, so I'm gonna give him that then. Um, Joel. And I want these guys to cross, goddammit. Like, I'm done with them not doing nothing. Especially this guy. Like, he's been disappointed. I want him to give him my instructions myself. Um, yeah. Take more risk. Shoot more often. Star uh, target, man. Stay wider. Do something, man. Like, I've paid good money for these players. Um... I want you to go back as a, uh, yeah, inside forward, and I'm gonna give you instructions as well. I want you to shoot. <laughs> I want you to shoot way more often, and you can roam from your position. And yeah, that that should be it. Okay. Um. Now that we got that set up, how's the bench looking? The bench is looking good. Everybody that's supposed to be there is there. Yeah, we're going to get into this game, man. Without further ado. Wait, the right wing. Gonzalez. For the time being. I'm going to also give him some new instructions. To shoot more often. Target forward. And he can stay. He can roam for this position. Yeah. All right, man. Without further ado, let's get into this game. Wasted enough time. I think I need to give him a shirt number also because, uh, oh, I'm gonna play Freddy without him giving the shirt number actually, but he's gonna get one. Because he's gonna be our Premier League striker as well. Yeah, I'm a unorthodox manager. If you look at the other Chelsea managers that didn't give their players opportunities, I'm giving every uh, almost all the players that came back from loan and were young are playing right now. Like Empedu's playing, Gilmore's playing, and Braha. So I don't know what else to say, man. I'm giving them a shot, a fair shot to show me what they've got. And if they're not good enough, yeah, they'll get, then they'll get sell, of course. But here's their opportunity. I hope they don't waste it. We're cross. Unlucky. Fragile. Gilmore's on it. I don't know why the hell he played it back that, that far. Hakimi on it. Unlucky. Bro, those other games, I understood that we didn't win by that much because our position was strong, but against an Eredivisie team, I don't want no excuses, man. I only know one player in this whole lineup. Penalty. Okay, let's go. Who's taking it? Saul. Okay, come on, Saul. Step up. Step your game up, please. He scores. Nice. Okay, we're already up 1 0. Let's go. Average on it. Average. <laughs> Don't know what the hell that was. Fredjo on it. Hakimi is on a run. Finally, they're crossing. Finally. Gilmore, shoot. Oh. Borja nearly scored. You know what? I want to give Gilmore some new instructions. Because I forgot about him. 
Uh, I do want. Do I want him to take more? He's a good passer, so I'll I'll trust him to. What can I? What? what, what does it change with, with support? It, I can let him dribble more. He can do it to target forward, and he can cross. So I'm gonna place him as support for now. We'll see if we'll get to see more from him. Gilmer on it. Good pass. Hakimi on it. Pedro. <sighs> oh, my days. I don't know what to do with these players sometimes. That's why I want a left-footed right winger and not a right-footed. Because that's what happens. Ampadu. Nice. Nicely done. Chill well with it. Joao. Broja. He's got no support. Gilmore's on it, though. Everts. Everts! Oh! Yeah, I don't know about Everts this season, man. He's a bit... um Not the player that I remember, but I, this is still preseason, so... I'm taking every player's performance with a grain of salt because the Premier League is not going to look like this. I'm hoping. Chill well on it. Yeah, all right. Come on, Sharfield. Let's cross it. Everett. Nah, this is this isn't team play, man. This is not the team play that I'm expecting from them. Still haven't changed the set piece take. It's like pff, I'm moving mad. Draw! Finally! And so with the assist. Did, they're, they're getting familiar with each other again. Finally. The old duo. Oh. Great. So I was already on a goal and an assist. That's how I remember him. Pedro on it. Borja. At least he's getting his uh, chances at goal. I might change his. Um, yeah, I might change him to pressing forward now because that's his best option. I'm not a room for his position. Shoot more often, dribble more, and take more risks. Yeah, it's time for some subs as well, man. Like, it's time for Rafinha to show what you're supposed to do on the right-hand side. As the inside forward. Let me give him the, some instructions as well. Yeah, he needs to shoot more, definitely. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, I'm cool. I don't need him to give him any instructions, actually. Um, Declan is going to come on and do his thing in the midfield. Let's see. Ensu Fadi. See inside forward. I do want to give this guy instructions because he's been a bit invisible for a minute. Yeah, dribble more. Okay, um, cut inside with the ball. Stay wider, maybe. Yeah, stay a bit wider. Um, hold on. Bellingham is gonna come on. Milinkovic is also coming on. Yeah, it's gonna be Milinkovic, Savage, Bellingham, and, and this guy. And box the box for. Um, you're gonna play as a ball winning midfield, and you're gonna play as a box the box. Torres is gonna come off, I'm guessing. Stoney and Ampadu. 
the emperor is gonna stay on for a bit mm. Haaland no Haaland is not coming on yet all right man let's go second half let's see some different Arvinia's on it Broha Broha that was a that was a good play that was a good play like he's unfortunate not to score at least he got some space for himself and now Sergei heads it over the bar what's new head it down dude you're six foot nine I shouldn't have to tell you that Bastoni scores. Well done. Rafinha's on it again. Who else than Rafinha? Kimi is, the, is finished. Suit is gonna come on as uh, an unorthodox position again. Like, this man is versatile as fuck. I tell you that. He's capable of playing anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna solve Chilwell as well. Sixth time. For Gaia. Um, yeah, that should be it, man. I'm gonna give Bra the full 90 minutes. Haaland doesn't have anything to prove to me. He just showed his worth. And Empedu's also gonna run out this game until unless the assistant manager tells me not to. So I get with a good cross braha. Unlucky. You see, like I could also get this from um him, so. Oh now they're telling me to sub him off. I mean I've Force him to get injured. Or so. Oh, actually, how did I do that? I thought I had two center backs. Guess I didn't. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Another midfielder. <laughs> ah, four midfielders. How about that? And he'll have play as a box to box again. You only got one set of back. <laughs> but we're up 3 0, so I'm not worried. And Sufadi misses some sitter. Rojas on it. And Su. Unlucky.
Ansu, come on. Show me some dip work. Oh, ah. Still two games before uh, the season starts. Alright, good that you're still here, man. Let's just skip until we get uh, these two games over with. All right, they need to. We need to decide the captains. Yeah, um, they want Declan Rice to be captain, but um, nah, he's he's just came over there so that's not happening um i don't need to feel the need to warn chaco cap chaco silva about his captaincy because he's already leaving so that'd be dumb sure you wanna okay let me just talk about him with him about him i'm planning to remove you as a vice captain due to your uncertainty surrounding your future i appreciate what your future i would more stabilize because before that oh he understands of course he does He's not stupid. Nah, I can confirm it. Yeah. Chelsea and Barcelona rivalry develops. I didn't even know we had a rivalry. Nah, I do. Okay, this guy finally leaves. I wanted to sell him last season. But he was out on loan. Update. They keep suggesting Diallo. I, 
already told him I don't, I'm not interested. Calvin Barrick, he's interested. Oh, uh, Bayern Munich wants to sign him. They can have him. Um, he's still a free agent. Wait, who want to sign him? Oh, Chelsea. <laughs> Let's see. Can I approach him still? I can. Yo. Um. Liberty, wake up. <laughs> Hold on, I need to check my Twitch. Okay, you're you're still there. We could actually still go for him, and I don't know how he's feeling about it right now. Last time, oh, uh, he really uh. It was really annoying about it. But I'm hoping this time it will improve. I'll put on everything on the line again, like I always do. Oh, uh, here's what my will be guaranteed. Premium stage for guarantee that this premium stage before ending to the proper contract talks. And it might look crazy that I'm selecting all these things, but you have to. Uh, realized that last time um, when I didn't do that he just straight up rejected it you know so All right, now, as you can see, I've selected everything possible. He does not want to be a free kick taker. Fuck it, I'll even put the stepping stone shit in it. But I've selected everything apart from captaincy, vice captain, or free kick taker. Watch. Whoa! I didn't know he would. I didn't know he would be okay with it. Okay, if he's okay with it, um. No, I'm I'm scared to remove anything, actually. You don't need to do that. Well, the whole problem is I've tried it a hundred times before and he rejected straight out before with, with me doing this. So this time I just did it straight off the bat, you know. Um uh, fuck it. Oh, they need to be a minimum release clause. Fuck's sake. Well, I'm at least happy that I can get the transfer negotiations going. Mm, no yearly wage rise, though. Fuck. I shouldn't have done it. 108 million is not a lot. It's um, not a lot for one of the best strikers in the world. That's bullshit. Um, okay, they want all these type of 25 goals, 30 goals. Oh, wait, let me put it at 20 goals, 25, 30. Um, fuck it, I can't afford it, so. Um, I'll just up this and this as well. Oh, he's, he's, he's bugging me right now. I'll bump this up. And this one also. And this one. And this one. And this one as well. Just to get the deal over the line, you know? Yeah, finally! Okay, you guys. After uh, trying this for half a billion times, we might actually be able to get um, Mbappe. And, yeah, you know, I put everything on the line, but that's really because all this, those times that I was trying it, he was rejecting it, so I had to. I can't believe that we can get Mbappe. I didn't. I didn't think it would happen, to be honest. He will bankrupt us, though. 
But uh, that's our problem for next year. Okay, we got Angelo. Angelo will be in the, um, you know, in the second team, of course. And now, straight off the bat, Catamount to the look gets injured for three weeks. I will look to see if I can get the release clause up a bit because 108 million is ridiculous. That is the same price that Lukaku had. Like, you know how young Mbappe is 22. So he's um oh he's resigning from West Ham. I'm fucking dying. Why am I in the sack race? The season is yet to start. What the fuck is going on? Um, okay, now that we got a friendly against the Bayer Leverkusen, we're gonna use the first team. It's time again. Um, yeah, guy needs to be in it, of course. Mm, Rice is gonna be in number six. He's not gonna play as a cap. He's not even capable of playing as a cap. Um, yeah, support. Or was it? Yeah, it was support. Um, body. I want to give this man some instructions, though. Um, no, wait. Um, let me push it back to complete forward. You dribble more, shoot more. Yeah. Um. All right. Am I cool with this? Both of them cannot be. I'll let him play as a box to box midfielder then and give him instructions. Instructions will be to dribble more, shoot more, cross more, target forward, take more risks. I'm run. Nah, I don't think Kettle will do that. Alright, man. We got everybody we need. Donnarumma is going to play, but Final Four is going to play as well. He's going to come get subbed on later. Sulist also there. Broha on the bench. For who? For Pedro Porro. He's not fit yet. All right, man, let me save it up first and then we can get into the game. This is, um, use editor come to your team straight. Now he'll accept it. I'll, after he's accepted it, I'll just, uh, you know, give him the, what was it called? Or maybe I do need to do that because he already accepted the contract. So it would only speed up the process, but I'll do that after this game. dollar question is would I want him to be a left winger or a striker I, I, I'm, I'm not sure man. I'm not sure Hakimi is on it though Hakimi uh, this is not the football I'm looking forward to witnessing
Are you fucking serious? Wow. Look, I don't know what this is. Wow. Jesus Christ. Like, if I have to uh, um, ask myself what type of team by Leverkusen would represent in the Premier League, it probably would be um, who? Spurs or Arsenal, maybe? Or maybe a team like Leicester, yeah. Maybe Leicester. We're, we're down 1 0. <sighs> Rice misses his header. Okay, okay. This, this is starting off great. Kimi gets tackled, of course. Guy on it. Guy on it, though. Oh, he nearly scored. And Sufati scores. Who got the assist? Let me see. Wait a second. How did Ensu... Okay, Hakimi... Ha oh, Hakimi had a cross. Nice. He beat the keeper to it. So nearly scored with a sliding tackle. Are you fucking kidding me? This is this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Like You know what's the craziest thing about this? Firstly that I'm using my strongest team pos possible team. I can't even get out my words. The fucked up thing about this all is that um yeah, there's no excuse that I can make. Like the back line has played together for a year already and they're just I don't know what, what's up with them. I, I have no idea. Okay, I want them to stay wide. this or maybe I should have subbed on Shaw Felix Shaw Felix might work on the right side and then yeah turn on to stay wide this is unbelievable this is still a friendly First friendly where we're struggling. It's anything but good. This is a young team as well. They're like they're not even old or something like fuck is going on come on boys hell, hell. it's like they're playing like this because they're my team hell. he 
just walks over the ball. So, great, great pass. Draw Felix. Yes! That's why I swapped him on. Let's go. That's a good work goal. So, again, with the assist. Exactly why I'm playing him. It's alongside Sergey. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's up with Sergey. Like, is he not playing? He used a box. The box makes. Oh, they, I'm talking about so right now. My bad. No. Um. He's yeah. He is a box to box. So maybe I need to play with two of them. And then instructions. Moving channel F A with the attack minor to freely cross space the center defenders. Teammates with the pass can turn draws. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cross more often. Shoot more often. Dribble more. Take more risks. I need to see more from them second half because we, we've been down twice. We can still come back. Can turn this game up uh, in, in our advantage, but we need to show it now. We can't show character right now. We don't deserve to win. It's still preseason. Declan Rice has been playing at CDM. Is showing jack shit. Like, where was he? He was in no man's land. Did I tell him to play white or something? Let me see. No, I didn't. I didn't tell him to. Oh, my God. I didn't tell him to do shit. And if anything, like, I might as well now because it's not doing some, nothing. Um, freedom of movement. Hold position. How on it? Yeah, I do need to change up my routines. Ansu Fadi with a goal. We're up front. Finally, this is the first time we're in front. Hakimi with the goal. I mean, with the assist. And Sufadi with the goal. Well done. Now, Felix have scored. And Fadi has scored. I might have made a mistake uh, buying Gonzalez. Like, I just, I've been seeing him playing in real life, you know. But FM does not uh, really pay attention to the, they did not pay attention with him. And his stats. He's just too slow. In the game, at least. In real life, he's fast as fuck. And we're lucky that this striker is incapable of finishing. Because it would have been levels again. This <laughs> Preseason is, isn't supposed to be this exciting, you know? Sergey's on it. Estoni. Guy, I sent him through. Adam is on a, is away. Aw, oh, he was away. Okay, nice guy, yeah. Sergey on it. Oh, what a, that's that's a bad pass. Maybe I should tell them not to make that risky passes because I'm not familiar with their play style yet. Oh, that's a good header though. Gaia. Everts. Every shot of my strikers gets saved. Every shot. You know how frustrating that is. And maybe. I need to stop giving everybody some new instructions. Maybe I need, just need to, you know, let them play their own game. But Sergey was just invisible, so I just had to do some. What the fuck is my goal? Okay, okay. Doing a rumor is gonna get stopped off. I don't know what the fuck that was. I, oh my god, we're playing okay, like, the, what the fuck was that? I'm lost for words. I'm actually lost for words. Doris is gonna get subbed off because I feel like he's been doing jack shit. Oh my days, like, okay, Braha, please, please, do, please do something different. That's the only thing I need I need from you today. Do something different from what I've seen by now. Cause I'm I'm oh my god, I'm losing my patience. 
I'm actually losing my patience. Bellingham, you, yeah, you were a ball-winning midfielder. Whatever, do your thing. So I'm, I wouldn't actually. No, I'm not gonna sub off Saul because he didn't do nothing wrong. Havertz is gonna come on. It's time for Havertz. He's gonna play as a shadow striker. So we need the goals. Like I need him to shoot as much as possible, and cross and roam from position, like everything. I don't know what the fuck's up with these guys. It's 3-3. Three, three. God's sake. Chilwell's gonna come on. First legs. Maybe he does something different as well. Gilmore, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to sit this one out. Mason Mount as well. Mason Mount has been on the bench for a minute. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I might tell Pedro Gonzalez back to sporting because I don't know what to do with him. He's incapable of playing as a winger. He's incapable of playing. Okay, uh, he was good as a shadow strike. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He was good. But I bought Rice for a reason. I'm actually only going to use a cam in a certain formation. And Havertz is, is doing great over there. So there's no need for me to sub Havertz off. So what the fuck am I going to do with Pedro Gonzalez then? I might loan him. I might not sell him yet. I might just loan him for, you know, um, six months and then get him back in January. And then we'll see from there what we'll do. But for now, I'm not going to use him, I'm guessing. Because I already got my hands full on some wingers. Like, I need to get rid of, um, what is his name again? Hudson Adoy. And I also need to get rid of, um, yeah, Pedro Gonzalez, I'm guessing. I'm not backing down on Havertz. I'm not. Concede three goals with a back line and of four players and a CDM. It's crazy. Bruh! He scores! He actually scores. And a crucial goal at that. Of the possibly potentially the game winner, Tro Felix headed it on. What a goal by Broha! What a time to make it. Broha on it. Havertz finishes, please. Havertz finishes. It's over. Finally over. I cannot believe Rice is not working out, man. I had a whole... Oh, man. I had a whole play in my head. And now he's out here disappointing me. He's out here showing me why I shouldn't play him. Yeah, what's the point of using playing defensive when you can see goals like it's... Man... So many shots. I mean, it's like the 4th, 4th of July. Average on it. So, oh, unlucky. Average nearly scored. All right, it's full time, man. Today has been eye-opening. I'm, I'm telling you, today has been really eye-opening. I've seen who's with me. I've seen who's against me. Changes have to be made, dog. Some people are leaving. Like, ah, <sighs> Virgil Gonzalez is gonna go on the loan list. Cause honestly, I have no idea what the fuck I should do with him right right now. 17 finishing I haven't seen it like I tell you what next game do we have do we we possibly have another friendly right let's see because if we do have another friendly I might use him as a shadow striker and see how oh we got a Premier League game <sighs> wow dog. Uh, you know what 
I'll use him. If Pedro Gonzalez shows me why he should stay, he's going to stay. If he doesn't, Angelo Gabriel already got signed. He's in the reserves. He's with the under-23s. Look. Where is he? Huh? Is he in the under-18s? Huh? Why the fuck is this dude? Yo, I have no idea where he is, actually. I signed him, but... I can't find him. Oh, he, he's joining... <laughs> he's joining next year, man. He's joining next year. It's because it's the Brazilian League, so they only accepted a deal for uh, January. So we just have to wait. We just have to be patient. Mbappe's delay, uh, move is delayed for two days. He's... He's joining us when the Premier League starts. This fucker. Let's see. So for Chelsea match. Chelsea must be okay. Let me see. The press conference is about to start. talking about oh, wow yeah we're definitely gonna win the title this year but they're talking about Dean Henderson like are you kidding me <laughs> he got sold before the the season even started Oh yeah, I was about to bring uh, Mbappe in. Like, maybe if I sign, since he already accepted it, I might be able to avoid all the promises I made just to try and get him here. Which isn't, which is a lot to be honest. So let's see. Borja signs a new deal. Bastoni gets injured for a day. Oh my God. Okay, let me sign Mbappe. Bob is a free agent, so he will join for free regardless. Move to my club. Welcome, I'm Bobby. Um, Arezo, no, he's not good enough. Iturbe is definitely not good enough. This guy is okay. This guy is good. Oh, wait, he actually isn't that good. Unlucky. Um, even Martinez is a bit better. Trubin is a bit better. And Griffiths, same story. All right, let's see, man. Um, We do have an issue, though. Um, uh, maybe we don't because I forgot when I sold... Flaovic, there was place for one more player, and that is Mbappe now. So, where is Mbappe at? Oh, here he is. Yeah, that's, now we're back to 25 again. 
Nice. Um, yeah, Borja also doesn't need to be signed in because he's on the 20 to 21. So. Great. Mbappe is still injured, though. He's out for two months. So. <laughs> uh, this is work. Angelo. Yeah, I'm going to keep Angelo at center so he can develop uh, further. Like. It'll, it'll just end the season over there and then it'll join us in January. <sighs> Alright, next up, Fulham. I tell you guys what. I'm uh, gonna go all out trying to get the f uh, three points. So we're gonna play an attacking formation again because last time we played with uh, a DM we conceded three goals and we were lucky to get away with the win because Borja you know came forward and showed us how it's done we were lucky with that uh, board would like to expect you to from this season for you to meet any Oh, wait a minute. All the board are able to for a fair wage and transfer budget. <laughs> it's very funny considering the fact that I got 122 million. You know, when you qualify for the Champions League, reach the final, reach the final, and not important. So they're still, they remembered uh, what I did last year. They want to sack me, so. We really got to give it all we got, man, today. We can't afford to lose. This is our first and last game for today. In the Premier League, we're going to play all the games tomorrow, for this month at least. We're going to use the same pace we did before. So just play every game for the month and then another day and another episode. We're just going to do, do it like that, like we're like you guys are used to, you know. Um, Yeah, Pedro Gonzalez is finally going to play in this preferred position. As a shadow striker. Man, I'm expecting a lot from him today. He better show up. Because if he doesn't, I don't give a damn if it's a hard game. Like, he's not going to stay here for long. Then, if that's the case. Okay, Mbappe is still on the reserves because he's injured. Same for Pedro Porro. Declan Rice is also in the reserves. Do I agree with that, though? No. Uh, I might... Let's say it's a one goal game. Declan Rice will come on and Gilmore and Bellingham and then we'll just see this game out. Broha might come on. I'm not sure. It depends on what Haaland does. I just really want this win, you know. Early crosses. Maybe that's why the early crosses stopped coming in. Because I told them to go for a shoot on sight. Okay, now that we got that, all that figured out. Let's get into this game. Or do I want Bellingham? Uh, this is a tough decision because if this guy is invisible today, I'm fucked. I'm gonna play with the box. Fuck that noise. All right. Oh, Saul's tired, so that means I do have to play Jude Bellingham. Jude is gonna play as his preferred position as ball-winning midfielder, and this guy's gonna be a boxy box. Is anyone else tired? Let me know. Oh, but Stoney isn't fit. Um, Nicholas suited in. Because I don't want to risk him, you know. Suit is going to play as a central, central defensive player. Um, Yeah, man, that's it. It's time for us to play this game. So without further ado... Save it first. And let's get into this game, boys. Let's get us get our first win after um, a debatable preseason. I want us to get away with a win today. Broha needs his shirt number. I don't know what number he's going to get because I still have to give a number to Mbappe. Mbappe I, um, oh, I already know what I'm going to do. Don't worry. Broha's taking number 17 for now. 
All right, boys, let's go. First game of the season. I'm hyped. I'm curious to see how we get on against uh, a newly promoted side, which we lost against yes last year. Um, doesn't make without. Yeah. Okay, come on, boys. Pedro Gonzalez is our joker for today. Like. He's my trump card. If he uh, becomes man of the match, like we'll see what we'll do. But if he's invisible, I'm already knowing what I'm going to do with him. Rafinha on it, Sergey. Sergey pass it back across it. Cross it then. Ansu. Ooh, unlucky, unlucky. Good start, good start. Sergey, unlucky. So far, I haven't seen Pedro yet. Oh, Pedro's here. Good ball to Haaland. Haaland! <laughs> Haaland, are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually serious? Oh, unlucky on Su. Sula on it, though. Sergey. Good pass. Oh, oh my God. What the fuck happened? My game kind of freeze for a second. I want to see what happened. Let's see. That was a brilliant pass by Sergey, And the goalkeeper was standing at the near. <laughs> he was standing at the post. How the fuck do you. <laughs> I'm more worried over the fact that I don't know why Helen didn't try and score over there. That's what concerns me more. He could have gotten his leg out. Could have been 1-0. Either way, we proceed. Sergey on it. Rafinha. Good ball to Pedro. I thought that Pedro was going to show me why he was supposed to be here. But, um. Looks like he doesn't want to. He's lucky that I can't tell Harris to do a warming up because I was I'd show him. Change Harlan to events forward. Come on then. Pedro, good pass. Rafinha, why? Why? Midfield is looking good though. Only thing that is that's bothering me is that Pedro Gonzalez missed the sitter. With his 17 finishing, he should have scored that. All right, boys, counter. Allen on it. Rafinha on the left, right side. What, what a ball! What a ball! Ansu on it. Good cross. Unlucky Rafinha. Oh no. Bellingham pressure, come on. Pressure them boys. How was he that wide open? That's Mitrovic out of all people. He has <laughs> I don't even want to talk about his heading, dog. It's a problem. They're playing the same formation that we do. Oh, we get another free kick. Rafinha cross it then. Pedro! He scores. It's a tap in. So I won't get all the credit. It's, it's, it's a tap in. Like I'm glad he scored though. I'm glad I'm glad he scored. But I could have been um Havertz. Havertz would have definitely scored that. I mean, come on. He scored bangers, so. Bellingham is on a yellow. Same with for Pau Torres. I need we need they need to watch out. This is not one of them games you can win with 10 men. Get rid of it. Should have headed it to uh, Sergey. Come on, get to it, boys. No. Nice, Donnarumma. I'm 
already knowing what I'm gonna sub off second half. Sergey, ah, oh, unlucky. This is not the Sergey Milinkovic Savage I used in FIFA, man. I'm telling you, this is a different Sergey. He's playing very different. Bellingham, oh, I thought he was gonna shoot it. Unlucky. Come on, boys, you proceed. Power on it. Sergey, send him through. Oh, he could have sent him. We're playing good football, though. We're playing control. Let me say it like that. We're playing very control football. Like, and Sue's on it. Unlucky. Allen has done jack shit today. I might, I might sub on Braha. I might sub on because I'm not, I'm not convinced of what I'm seeing by uh, Haaland at all. The midfield is, is there, so I might not even sub any new midfielders on today. Pedro? Nah. Of course not. Shooter, nice. Good, great ball by Bellingham. Bellingham on it again. Ensu, send the cross, send the cross. Helen. Yo, Helen is going to get subbed off. Sergey. Yo, you could have caught there, man. Come on. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm already, I'm already knowing what I'm gonna sub on, who's gonna, pff, for fuck's sake, dog, serious? Are they actually serious? Jesus. Okay, 55th minute, I'm gonna make some subs. Um, this is, this is fucking disappointing. Shaw Felix is gonna come on for Rafinha. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna um who did I sub off Rafinha sub off? Um and Braha. Cause yeah. The, the guy does did fuck all man. Helen hasn't done anything this game. I wanna see. Um yeah, he's a pressing forward, so I think he's already on it. I don't know why I went back into the game. Like I didn't tell them to do that. Did I, oh, I already made three substitutions. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that because the midfield is staying like this. The midfield is playing good. But the fucking goal, man. We keep conceding these bullshit goals. I'm getting sick and tired of it. Come on, boys. We can do better than this. And so. He loses the ball. He just childishly loses the ball. Average. Come on, play him, play him. Go ball. Sergey. That's a goal. That, that is an offside. That's a goal. You see? I told you. That's exactly why he stayed on. He deserved this goal, man. He worked for it. And that's why I made him run in space because nobody was there. I don't know where Broha was. That was supposed to be Broha's position, but I'm not complaining. We get the goal. That's what matters. Come on, boys. Leave it open. I should have left it open. Draw. Great, Havertz in the middle. Draw, please. Unlucky. Good shot. Good shot. Havertz. 
favorites. I love you. Straw was on it though. Sule. Sir Sergey. He nearly scored that. I don't get this shit fucked up now. That shit. Oh my god. Imagine that. Imagine him scoring from over there. They hit the crossbar. That would have been the goal of the season, I'm telling you. Whoa. Alright, Sula on it. Powell running with it. Bellingham. Bellingham is moving mad. Ansu, good pass. This, this, this nice play. Straw Felix, end it, end it, please. Ah, oh, he was too late. Still one goal game. Come on, we've lost against this team before. We need to finish it. End it off. Go for the dagger. Good play. Chillwell. Why didn't you pass it? Come on, Shao Felix on it. Broha. He has no composure. That's the only problem. He has no composure. Ah, fuck. Okay, Ansu is on it. Send him through. Send him through. Harvest is on it. Good cross. Bro, I didn't get to it. Chiwa on it, though. Bro, huh? <sighs> he nearly scored. At least it was a bad header than, better header than, um, what's his name again? Allen. Allen had zero good headers today. I don't know where he was with his head. Sula on it. Oh my god, why are you doing this? <sighs> yeah, ref, blow your whistle. One more minute left. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's offside still. Yo, boys. We better not. We better not. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice. Good first good first game of the season. You played all right. I wouldn't say that we won it this with good football. Like it, it can be a lot better. But I'm happy that we won at least. Great goal by Milinkovic Savage. To the East game, but um, we're not gonna play that game, of course. That game is for tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, it was good. There's one more there. Um, I mean, I don't wanna comment on speculation. But yeah, man. This month seems like an easy month, so we're gonna run to. I'm hoping that we'll move through it swiftly. We also have to see um, the Europa League draw, but I think that is after the chat, of course. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get an inbox.
maybe because it's the 30th of July. Yeah, we still got press conferences. We're talking about Mbappe now. Yeah, I'm happy with Mbappe, of course. Robin Chelsea, of course, yeah. Quickly. Formation, yeah, okay. Thank you. For now, we're in first place, but nobody has played their game yet, so. man this month um it's gonna be a the only thing i'm gonna put my emphasis on now is maybe selling or loaning out a few players yeah we definitely need to loan out a few youngsters and uh, also sell a bunch of players that aren't working out maybe one or two but my point being that this budget that i have right now the 122 million i want that use that for the future stars you know i want to buy a few youngsters that have the potential to fill in a bunch of places in uh, the starting lineup but that's something i'll do mostly off camera and um, i'll just show you guys who i've scouted and who we could potentially go for you get to decide with me who we sign and we're just gonna play a lot of games man like we always do I just don't want to put up a record, um, I mean, record speed of going through a save because last time we took a long ass time. We took like a few months, like two months to end this, uh, that first season. But this time I want to do it in like two weeks or something, two, two to three weeks max. I want them to be with the football, of course. Uh, long can be terminated. Can play in cup matches. Um, important. Uh, yeah, end of season. Let me suggest this. Yeah, they want to play seventy percent when he's playing, hundred percent when he's not playing. That that is fair. And a regular starter. I want him to be an important player, though. They've said yes. That means that he'll get the game time that he needs. You know, playing for West Ham, he'll he'll get on nicely. Kennedy finishes his loan, that means that I can sell him. But his contract is like a day old, if I'm correct. Yeah, his contract is... Oh, he's already joining Wolfsburg, so that doesn't matter. For us to get into the Leeds game. We're going to play that game tomorrow, of course. Oh, bro, I'm tired. Let's see. Hey, we might get 4.3 million for the Harrison deal. Nice. Um, yeah, we're on course. We're doing fine. It's taking forever. We got two games in uh, three days, though, so that it's definitely paying off the fact that we have. Um, wait, they're talking about William. Or William. Given the fact that we got a squad death, we will be fine. I'll be 
Topeka signed Sanchez. They signed him back. They're happy with the squad performance. They're happy with the tactics. They're pleased with the transfers. They're not sure about the matches still. I understand that. And Mason Mount needs to get some game time again, man. Because he hasn't played in a while as well. I was giving other people some game time. They needed it too. Um, I'm guessing Fenderford is gonna play against uh, Sheffield because the other game I'm not trusting him yet. If I'm that honest, it's too early. Why is he still out on loan, man? That's, did he sign for a two-year loan deal? <sighs> well, I'm already in the press conference. It's not. Let me just send my assistant. Of course, when he's fit, we're gonna play the first team again against Leeds, and then the second team against uh, Sheffield. Finally, took us long enough. I think it should be here now. Yup, I think it wait. They want me to transfer this fan the void. Have they lost their fucking minds? Hell no. I'm not selling this dude. No way. Um Paul Torres, record start. No, I don't need to hear that. He returns to training. His move is delayed still, but it, it'll happen. Okay, we're there. Um, yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for yeah, sticking through the save again. It's the new season. I'm not going to play this game, of course. I already told you guys that I just need to save it up. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll get the formation set before we uh, leave, though. Harris is going to play, of course. Milinkovic played well yesterday, but it's time for... Oh, maybe I'll put him next to... Hmm, difficult. Saul then. Yeah, Saul is going to play as a defense game maker. Um, you know, Mount is going to come on as well. Like, this time he will play. And Billy Gilmore. So, Billy Gilmore, Mount. Sean Felix played last time. Maybe Declan Rice is going to play as well. Because he got a high, um, you know. What is it called? His contract, um, his playing time is high, so he, he'll definitely play today, but he'll come off the bench. Um, yeah, I'm not missing nothing. Like, Declan Rice, Gilmore, and Mount are gonna play together. Borja's on the bench in case, but I don't think he's gonna play. Um, Bellingham is gonna stay for Gonzalez, because Gonzalez. His days might be numbered. All right, man. I want to thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. So I'll see you guys soon. Oh, there's another guy follow, man. Welcome to the stream, Ian Hilbert. Now I'm off the stream. Yeah, Poro's still injured, so I'll wait for the next game and he'll play. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care.